Hello, friends. How's everybody doing today? Happy Sunday. Hello. Wait, do I have my music on? <laughs> I don't know. Hi. So many people here already. Hi, Allie, Maddie, Brainseer, Adora, Ariel. Hello. Mutual sunshine. Happy. Or happy. Happy. <laughs> Stop. Leave me alone. I'm on my third coffee. I'm on my third coffee. Mutual sunshine. Julie. Hello. Peter. Joey. Blondie. Oh my goodness. Thank you so much for all the love and the happy one year. Happy one year to all of you too. I didn't expect to still be um around, I don't think. But here we are. Better than ever. Roro, Amelia, Nicole, Mandy, Irie. Hello, hello. Tracy, Jules. Hi. How's everyone doing today? Let me adjust my game sound a little bit. It's hard to judge sometimes when the music's not actually playing. How's everyone's weekend been? John, hello, hello. Hi. You think you're sick? Oh, no. I'm sorry to hear that. I feel like I relate. Hello? Oh, that was so delayed. <laughs> um, I definitely relate. I'm feeling actually today I'm feeling a little bit better than I have the past couple of weeks. But yeah, I don't know what's up. Things are just things are just changing too rapidly with the seasons for my sinuses to keep up. Christian renewed her membership, but it disappeared. Oh, no. Well, thank you, Christian, so much for being a member. I can't see how long. Can, uh, did it pop up? No, it didn't even pop up on my Streamlabs. Well, thank you so much for renewing your membership. I appreciate it. Sorry that YouTube made it disappear. Happy anniversary. Thank you. I like Entropa. A lot of work and allergies. I feel like it's the season. I've been saying this for weeks. I feel like I'll be saying it for more weeks because it really just is that time, you know? Freezing cold. That's not good. Vacation. Brought your Nintendo to play along. That's perfect. Today, we're going to be streaming um, a bit longer. An early stream today. So thanks for stopping by early. Um... We'll probably be hanging out until around our usual time or a little bit afterwards. I made a list of all of the things that I could do, but I don't know exactly what we're going to do. I kind of want to redo my Dream Snap submission. Um, oh, I have a quest with Ursula that I need to do. So we'll probably start with that after I do a little bit of valley cleanup. Um, I kind of want to start tearing down parts oh my of my valley. Um, so a valley tour is coming tomorrow. I finally finished it. It's like uploaded to YouTube and everything just ready to go So now that that's done, I feel like destroying my valley is fair game now, so Perfect angel. Thank you so much Was I really excited to post my first YouTube video was I really excited I was really excited to post it. Yes um I was kind of nervous. I mean, I was definitely nervous. I kind of thought that just no one would watch it. And to be fair, for the first like week or so, kind of no one did watch it. Also, listen, this is really embarrassing. Don't go back and watch it. <laughs> I think it's still available. I don't think I privated it, which is kind of embarrassing. I probably should because I had put so much time and effort into learning how to edit, trying to put this video together. For the most part, I was really proud of it. Um, and then something happened with exporting it or uploading it or something, and the quality is absolute garbage. I don't know, but by the time I noticed, the video started getting some traction, so I was like, I can't take it down now. <laughs> And it's just been up forever. I think like 40,000 people have seen it. So that's embarrassing. But, you know, it is what it is. Here we are much later. And everything's good. Except for my upload schedule, which is pretty much non-existent. But we hang out live all the time. How long is it going to be? The um, Valley Tour? It's like... 55 minutes. Listen, just watch me on two times speed. <laughs> I won't, I won't like hold it against you or just put it on while you're doing your chores or something. Um, but it's a long one. It's a very long one. Can't stay for long. It's 2 a.m. Blondie, go to sleep. 
But thank you for being here. Is it the Captain Hook one? Yeah, that was my first YouTube video. And I was like super excited about the concept because the game was new. Like some people were making videos, but people weren't really making like it was the beginning days of Dreamlight Valley. Um, there wasn't a lot of like lore stuff or theory stuff floating around. And that was what I was really excited about and passionate about. It's still what I'm really excited about and passionate about, which is strange because I don't really make lore videos or like speculation videos, but it's the thing that I like most, I think. Um, but yeah, so I was just really excited about the video. See how far we've come. Exactly, right? It's been a wild year. You're really excited and also scared to post your first video. I think that's a totally normal feeling. And like the thing is that you just never know what to expect, you know? YouTube is such a weird platform. Like, it's hard to know who's gonna end up watching your video, how many people, what kind of people. So I feel super lucky that somehow I just like lucked into an amazing community. So thank you all for, you know, hanging out and being wonderful people. Another hour, yeah, <laughs> it's long. I really, I was gonna try to record it again, but I recorded that Valley tour like three times. Each time it was like, 45 minutes plus. So I was like, you know what? It's just going to be a long video. People can watch me at double speed. They can start it, stop it, come back. But it is what it is. You've watched Valley Tours over three hours long? Oh my goodness. Yeah, to be fair, I tried to like look at some Valley Tours on YouTube and see how long they were. I didn't see any three hour long ones, but... I did see individual biomes that were like 20 minutes long and I was like, well, I'm doing a lot of biomes and the average is less than 20 minutes per biome, so maybe it's okay. <laughs> maybe it's all right. Watching on TV and hanging out. Well, thanks for hanging out. What is everybody up to today? I had a pretty, I don't know, my morning was pretty productive, but it also felt pretty chill. I feel like it's rare for me to feel like I have a balanced morning. It's either I'm doing way too much or I'm not doing anything. But yeah, I finished up some editing, got that video ready to go, did a little bit of reading just for fun. That was nice. Bit of housework. Ting stand for life. Oh my, oh my. Michelle, thank you so much. How are you? You're getting frustrated with gaming on your Xbox. I've heard that the Xbox is not the best right now. Um, where else do we need to check? Let's check Sunlit and the Forgotten Lands. I haven't cleared Nightthorns in a few days, actually. Okay, okay. This weekend, I... What did I do this weekend? Oh, I went and saw the Taylor Swift concert movie with my sister. She had bought tickets for us, I guess, when it was first announced, and I'd forgotten. <laughs> and then we went. And it was actually kind of funny because... Um, my sister came and picked me up after work. And she's like, yeah, the movie's at, uh, it's at seven o'clock. I just have to run home quickly after work. I'll pick you up and we'll go and watch it. I'm like, perfect. That's awesome. So I'm like getting ready, whatever. She picks me up. We go to the theater. We already were running like a little bit late. We got there at like 645, I think. And, um, my sister was like, I need to get like, I don't know, the special limited edition popcorn bucket. <laughs> so I was like, okay, let's get this popcorn bucket. We walk into the theater and uh, like as we're kind of rounding the corner, I can hear Taylor's voice and I'm like, oh, interesting. They've got like, <laughs> they've got like pre-movie interviews or something going. I don't know. And all of a sudden we like see the screen and I'm like, hmm. This isn't a pre-movie situation. This is halfway through the concert. And my sister's like, oh no, our movie actually started at 6 p.m. So um, 
we then proceeded to watch about half of the concert. Um, while we were in there, my sister bought tickets for the next show time. <laughs> so we watched half of it, and then we went to the next, uh, the next theater over and watched the full thing. And it was a lot of fun. Lots of fun. Finishing up some school stuff and some housekeeping, maybe playing Palea. Oh my goodness, the Palea update. I'm really excited. Um, tomorrow we're playing Palea? I think we're playing Palea tomorrow. I can never remember my own schedule. Um, and I want to check out the obstacle course. So we might be just like fumbling around with that for a little while. I think that's what we're going to do. Hi, Amanda. Hello, hello. Local theater nearby was doing 9 to 5 the musical. Ooh, that's amazing. Um, you take it by my username, Tinker Lily, that I love Tinkerbell. I do love Tinkerbell, but, um, Tink has been my nickname since I was, like, a baby. So it mostly comes from that. Um, let's talk to Ursula. I actually never asked where that came from. Like, it's just always been a thing in my life. You love Tinkerbell? She needs to be in the game? I agree. Hopefully we're getting some Peter Pan characters pretty soon. Okay, Ursula, talk to me. Uh huh. You're supposed to be seeing the Eras Tour movie with a group of friends next weekend. Ooh, it was a lot of fun. Um, luckily, art theater, everyone was pretty chill. Like, there was some singing, a little bit of dancing, but I've seen some footage of people who were going absolutely wild, and that was not our experience. Ah, Angelfish, do you have time to help your poor dear friend Ursula? I do. What? I'd like you to put your little assistant cap back on. Metaphorically, that is. This time it's Moana who's late paying what's due. I need you to go and see her discreetly. Okay. Um... What did she promise you? Sounds like someone's embarrassed to ask. <laughs> uh, I could always... <laughs> Stop right there, dearie. If you're about to try your hand at blackmail, remember, it's an art. One that takes years to perfect. But since you've been courageous to try enough, or courageous enough to try, Moana promised me advice. Yes. On how to care for my hair on the surface. Ooh, Moana does have great hair. Whenever I spend time out of the sea, my fabulous hair becomes unruly and horribly dry. Mmm, bad hair days. I have them too. I do. Then you know I'm so eager to learn our little Wayfinder secret. Her hair is always infuriatingly lush. I'll go talk to Moana for you. I will. Playing Fortnite? Amazing, amazing. I've never played Fortnite. I've seen like a tiny bit of Fortnite. My brother plays it a lot, but I've never played. Let's see what Moana wants. Oh, also, um, how does everyone feel about the Dreamlight shirt? I think it was in my Scrooge shop on uh, the update day when we got the Dream Snaps. Did I say Dreamlight? The Dream Snaps um, update. But I hadn't really bothered with it too much until this week I leveled up on the track and would have unlocked it. So I was like, let me check it out. And I feel like a painter maybe I put on these skinny jeans instead of the regular pants because when I wear the regular pants I feel like um I feel like the ruler of a dystopian land in a YA novel it's giving president coin but this to me is giving like painter or something Mandy, thank you so much for becoming a channel member. I appreciate it. You've never used it? Yeah, I've never really worn it. It, uh, I feel like the color choice is very strange, but... Thanks for coming to see me. Is there anything I can do for you? Well, there's something you promised Ursula. Hmm. Oh, no. I forgot Ursula. She gave me this amazing star chart of the sky around the valley, and I got totally lost in it. It completely slipped my mind to get back to her. Maybe you can just tell me the advice and I... No, I can do better than that. I'm going to make her some coconut oil for her hair. Perfect. Um, somewhere Maui is yelling, you're welcome. Uh, hi Deja, how are you? 
Michelle, thank you so much for gifting five memberships. That's so kind. Thank you so much. Can we get some love in the chat for Michelle? And welcome to our new channel members. <laughs> and in this case, he's right. Why don't I help you whip up some coconut oil for her? That would be great. We need someone to shred the coconuts. Oh, I bet Wally can probably do it in the blink of an eye. I'll bring him some coconuts and be right back. You're amazing. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Perfect. Let's go gather some coconuts. For a second, I was like, do I have my coconuts on the beach? I do. Oh, I also still have Eric's house here. I need to move it back. Um, Actually, let me do that now quickly. I didn't want to get rid of the setup because I kind of regretted um, getting rid of the... Is this where I had this? Maybe the before Christmas or like the nightmare before Christmas dream snaps thing I had. Mm, cancel you. You leave. I can't remember what all I changed about this area. I think I tried not to change that much so I could just pop things back in. But apparently. You know what? I think the quarrel is in the way. Working today for a bit, so mostly listening. Well, thank you for still lurking and hanging out. I appreciate it. How do I get through here? And I hope your work is going well. I think you're in the way. I feel like all of the rest of this just existed here. After a whole lot of mining, you redid your plaza with the bordered path. Amazing. Oh my goodness. The bordered paths. Mm. I am happy that they changed the requirements for crafting paths. It took me forever. Um... What? I am so confused. Yeah, it took me kind of forever to uh, get bordered paths, mostly for here in the meadow because I needed a lot of soil for that and for some reason I don't usually have a lot of soil just like chilling. I, you know what? <laughs> I guess Eric's house is not going back here. <laughs> it's not going back here. Let's get some coconuts. I'll deal with that later. I might have to just remove everything and redecorate it. I don't know what I did but something apparently. No worries, Mandy. Thanks for stopping by. You're still doing the jeweled bordered path for your plaza. Oh, my. Yeah, I only have that path in very small areas um, in the forest and in the frosted heights. So, yeah, luckily I didn't need to make too much of it. I don't have any entire biomes that are covered in that path. I don't know if I'll try to use it more when I redo my valley. I feel like it looks nice in the Frosted Heights. Okay, let's find Wally. Valley cleanup and then hopefully some decorating. Oh, amazing. What are you planning on decorating? I have so much decorating I want to do. We're probably going to end up mostly doing decorating on streams, which I guess makes sense because we're pretty much done with quests. Um, but until the next update, I want to decorate the inside of all of the premium shop houses. And I want to redo Frosted Heights and the Glade of Trust. You just got the Wally bathtub today from Scrooge. Amazing. You really want an ice path for the Frosted Heights. Ooh, that would be amazing. Yeah, that just looked kind of like, um, if it looked kind of like, what am I thinking of? Is it the outside, like right outside of Elsa's cave? There you go, Wally. Wally. Directive? Wally, would you crush these coconuts? If you don't mind. 
or Moana will end up in Ursula's garden. I don't think we need that. Christian, thank you for renewing your membership and for being a member for five months. That's amazing. I appreciate it so much. Oh, that was fast. Thank you, Wally. You thought Nala was a llama. What? <laughs> that would be funny. I feel like with everybody talking about, like, um, wanting bug nets or thinking a bug net is going to be the next royal tool added to the valley, it makes me think, like, I don't know. I don't think we're going to have any animals to take care of, like, rays or anything like that in the valley, but that's the next thing, I feel like, in the direction of a farming sim or something. You're going to finish the Bell and Beast Castle outside area. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I wanted to show you all something. I was about to take it down in my um, house, but I decided to leave it up for now. So I was doing a submission for the Enchanted Adventure, Enchanted Sweepstakes. I don't know what it's called. Whatever sweepstakes is going on. Um... And I wanted to do like a West Wing and the entire room is not decorated. I really just decorated the corner that I needed for the picture, but it actually looks kind of good. And now I want to make a West Wing, but I don't want to get rid of a room in my palace. So I'm not sure what I'm going to do. You'd like to sincerely say that I'm such a slight. Oh, thank you. Never change who you are because you're a kind, caring, funny person. We all appreciate. Thank you so much, Blondie. That is so sweet. And thank you for being a member for five months. Okay, ignore all this empty space, right? This empty space is not iconic, but this section, kind of iconic. <laughs> I need to make like a full West Wing now. But yeah, uh, the mannequin is kind of where I was posed for my picture. Um, I'm kind of happy with how it turned out. So I want to do like a full West Wing. I don't know why I thought of that. Why did I think of that? But yeah, um, long story short, I now need another regular looking palace so I can make it more Beauty and the Beast themed because my palace that I have right now is mostly Cinderella themed. It's lots of blues. Um, some pinks and golds and whites, but if I had another one, that one would be all Beauty and the Beast themed. Okay, let's find Moana. Not you, Donald. I'm still a little bit mad at both Donald and Eric for how much I had to fight with them to get my Dream Snaps picture. Oh, let me also get this. Perfect. Hey, Moana. Take this. Thanks for coming to see me. Wow, I'm always so impressed by Wally. This is perfect. I have everything I need. I'll handle the preparations and go give it to Ursula myself so I can apologize for taking such a long time. Ah. Also, this is for you as a thank you for reminding me and helping me. These are a pretty rare catch in the village waters. Oh, thank you. I was hoping it was... Oh, we got one Fugu. That's not too bad. Speaking of, I should probably see if we have any um, gold circles around. Actually, do I have an elixir on my fishing rod? I do! Amazing. You want the spirit jersey that my player has? Oh, this dream snaps. It does kind of look like a spirit jersey. I still have mixed feelings about it. I'm trying to convince myself to like it, and I don't hate this look. But um, yeah, I just unlocked it on the Dream Snaps track. You'll definitely get there. I really just want the uh, the Dream Snaps trophy. I know some people got it in um, Scrooge's shop. I was not one of those people. So I'm just trying to grind away to unlock it because once I do that's going to have a place of honor for sure you always see Eric at the restaurant with Vanessa wait really I don't think I've ever seen Vanessa in the restaurant who do I see Eric with 
I don't know. I tend to see Kristoff with Moana a lot. My fishing rod is doing something really weird. I think it's because of the elixir. Hi, Ariel. How are you? Popping in for 30 minutes before Minecraft Live. Oh, nice. Thank you for being here. How are you doing, Ellie? The way I never actually remember to go fishing when it's raining for Fugu. I'm just like, I guess I'll just have zero. <laughs> I guess I'll just not have any Fugu. That's fine. Vanessa goes to the restaurant, right? I don't think I've ever seen her there. But I also don't usually go into the restaurant unless I'm specifically looking for somebody. I should have brought a fishing person with me. Oh, wait, I can't. All of them are... <laughs> I can't because all of my people are digging now. I forgot. I need to fix that. <laughs> that was such a chaotic move on my part. Oh, wow. You're stressed. It's been a whole day. Oh my goodness. I'm so sorry to hear that. I'm doing pretty well, though. Yikes. Well, the one nice thing about having everybody as digging right now means that uh, I can make a list of all the characters and really decide what I want them to do and have the perfect um, distribution of roles for all of the characters. Darth Stone, thank you for becoming a channel member. Or upgrading your channel membership. I can't really tell which one it is, but thank you. I appreciate it so much. Renew. Well, thank you, Darth Stone. It would be nice if YouTube, like, told me, but it doesn't really, like, uh... Give me the full details. Okay, it says I still have this. And yet, let me find one more fishing spot to check if this elixir is still working. Because my fishing rod is still glowing. Unless, no, this isn't what it usually looks like. Well, that one's already the right color. What about if we find one? Hmm. Oh, yes, over here. No. Interesting. Okay, well. You just got the Dreamlight Fruit foraging duty. Wait, it just showed up for you? Or you just completed it? Oh, that's awesome if you just completed it. Wait, isn't there a way for me to see? No, this? It says I still have 20 miracle fishing baits. Oh, well, we don't need to worry about it. Um, let me put these fish away. New, hello, hello. Thank you so much. Cheers to more fun-filled gaming experience in the future. Honestly, I feel like we're going to have fun. Lots of stuff upcoming. I'm excited for the future of Dreamlight Valley. I don't know. Every now and then I feel like I go through phases where I'm like more or less excited about Dreamlight Valley. Like, I always love it, but... I don't know. I've been in a phase recently where I'm just really, really excited about it and hopeful about it. So, yeah, I'm very intrigued to see what information we get moving forward about um, the last update this year, all that kind of stuff. I will save these. Probably going to get rid of all of this stuff. You know, Vanessa was in your restaurant at least once because you took a picture of them sitting at the table. Oh, that's awesome. You just completed it. Congrats, Adora. How am I getting them to dig on their own? Wait, what? The villagers? They, I don't think they do. But um, I, in a moment of desperation, trying to complete my digging memory collection, I decided to make a bunch of manuals to give to everybody um, to make them digging companions. And yeah, that's that's where we are right now. I might have like two people who are not because I think they were asleep at the time, but everybody else is. Okay, we finished that with Ursula. 
What do we need to do? Dream snaps. I also kind of at some point want to work on getting more dream light. Do I need it immediately? No. But I've been hovering around this like 282 point for a while. Um, I kind of want to get back up to like 300,000, maybe even more. Hmm. Frosted Heights redo. Okay, I'm going to pop up a poll, actually. Let's see. What should we do? My character looks so cute. Thank you. You're excited for them to at least start hinting about the rest of 2023. Me too. I feel like the update's going to be the end of November, like the third or fourth week of November. Okay, what should we get up to? Um, we can do... Um, decorate... Not... <laughs> that's not a word. Uh... Frosted Heights or Glade. We could do um, updated Pirate Stream Snap. We could do, um, what was the other thing I was thinking of? Oh, Dreamlight Grinding, or we could do um, Interior Decorating. I am up for any or all of these. What do you mean an error occurred? Start poll. There we go. You might head out now. Well, thank you for being here, Blondie. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your night. Kayla, hi, hi. How are you? Also, thank you. Thank you so much. Okay. Hmm. What am I doing in the meantime? It's still raining. Oh, I don't know if I actually got the flowers from the greenhouse. Let me go grab that. Has anyone decorated the Frosty Fortress, if you got it, from the premium shop? If so, how are you liking it? I do kind of want to decorate that, but I'm going to have to completely rework my Frosted Heights. Okay, perfect. Let's keep it moving. I think I was um, very briefly considering moving this greenhouse up to the Frosted Heights. I feel like it might look really good there. I don't think I'll do it this go around with decorating, but I might for the for the next time I redecorate. Takes so long for them to be added. You don't vote anymore. Wait, are we talking about Minecraft? I don't really know much about that. It's ginormous. The castle, right? It's wild. I am actually going to start cleaning up around here, though. Because it looks like biome decorating is going to win out. It's got more than half of the votes so far. Can I go back here? No. Okay. Ooh, wait. <laughs> I'm kind of excited and also kind of nervous. It's been so long since I did a biome wipe at all. I mean, we just did like a complete forest decorate, de like decoration, because um, it was completely empty, but I hadn't wiped it for like a long time. Like it had been empty just for months. What else do we need to clear out? Can I show the premium castle? I can um, in a few minutes. I don't currently have the space for it. But I think we're gonna we're gonna make some space for it. Do you mean the Frosty Fortress that's in the shop this week? What's my Discord? Um, if someone types exclamation mark Discord in the chat, it should pop up. Actually, I haven't seen Streamlabs bot in a minute. But if that doesn't work, um, like if Streamlabs bot just isn't working right now, there should be a link in the description box, like an invite link. You have, you really like it. Even though the footprint is massive, it's still beautiful. It looks like it's pretty, so I'm excited about it. Thank you so much, Emily. I appreciate it. Yeah, uh, Streamlabs, actually, let me see. 
every now and then uh the bot just like turns itself off which is very strange um and i actually need that for things not just like pop-ups yeah it had just turned itself off how rude <laughs> Um, I don't know if it'll automatically turn on now. I fixed it, but it might have to wait until next stream. Uh, what about the Jafar update? Is that the 20th or something? Wait, the Jafar update for what? For Dreamlight Valley? It seems like we're getting Jafar, even though he's not like 100% confirmed, but they haven't given us a date yet. Okay, it looks like Frosted Heights or Glade has won out. So I'm going to go ahead and end the poll now. Because that's like a landslide. Um, but yeah, that update, we also don't have a date for it. Um, I feel like the best guess is around the end of November, though. Based on the pattern of updates so far. And also, like, um, timing if they're doing a holiday star path. That kind of thing. Okay, let's do one last run through the Frosted Heights as a goodbye. I don't... Mm, am I going to get rid of all of it? Maybe. Maybe. And then we'll tear it down. Also the Glade. I'm probably actually just going to tear both of them down. And then we'll decide what we want to decorate the most. Because I think some of the buildings I'm going to end up shifting from one biome to the other. Wouldn't it make sense for him to come in October? Mm, maybe, but I don't think we're getting an update this month because we just had one the middle of September. It would be cool if we did, but I think it's a little unlikely. Oh, now I can make room for the other haunted mansion. I'm very excited about that. Oh, I have to decide where I'm putting this cottage. So many things that are going to have to change. But it'll be okay. Goodbye, Glade. <laughs> I'm just chasing this crocodile. <laughs> oh my goodness. Goodbye, Glade. Okay, I am done being dramatic for now. Let me go all the way over here. I'm just gonna, we're just gonna clear out everything, I think. So get ready for the keyboard clicks. That's just the way it's gonna be for a little while. There are a lot of things here. I think I'm gonna wanna put the frosted, frosty fortress mm, either back here or back here. I feel like it has to be kind of against the cliffs. That makes the most sense. Okay. Nice ASMR clicking. I'm sorry. <laughs> I try. I don't know. Sometimes I need to like fiddle a little bit more with my mic filters because I'm actually pretty soft spoken most of the time when I'm just speaking naturally. My voice is kind of quiet. So then when I have filters to kind of get rid of background noise or... Um, like clicking, things like that. If I filter my mic so it's not picking that up, sometimes my voice will like pop in and out because it's like not loud enough. So for now, we just got to deal with the, uh, the mic clicks or the keyboard clicks. Okay, all of this stuff can go. This has been here for a long time. That was from the Rainbow Dream Snaps. Okay, all of this can go. Oh my goodness, it's going to look so empty and strange. You love my Glade. Thank you. It'll live on forever in the Valley Tour. I know. That's why I really wanted to get a Valley Tour out because part of me, whenever I clear out a biome to redo it, I'm like, but what if I hate the new, <laughs> what if I hate the new biome and I just really wish that I hadn't changed it? Um, so at least having video evidence of what it used to look like might make it a little bit easier to redo it in that style if I decide to. But I don't think I've ever, like, 
fully regretted changing one of my biomes, I usually end up with something that I like. So it's not too bad. Um, I'm going to need to pick that up and that. Um, I'm going to leave the chests there. Hi, Ignis. How are you? Also, hi, Linda. Hello. How's everyone doing today? Okay, books, snow people, all this stuff can go. Actually, is it raining? It is. Ooh, the one thing about the rain is that it doesn't really affect decorating in the frosted heights too much, which is nice. Usually, I really don't like decorating when it's raining. It makes it difficult. Doing great. Thank you, thank you, Linda. I appreciate it. Okay, all this stuff's gotta go. So I'm thinking I really liked this purple and blue, like, moment. But I think this time around, I'm gonna keep it to the willow trees and the snow-covered pine trees, fir trees. I think that's going to be the vibe this time. And I was actually thinking, because I also kind of have like a purple vibe going on in the glade, but I was thinking of just keeping it to the like muted greens, which means we're going to have a little bit of a less magical looking valley, but we might still be able to... To keep a vibe of, I don't know. I don't know how to explain what I mean. We'll still make it look nice. Just won't be quite as like purple and magical. Okay, all of this is leaving. I'm very curious. Um, who all has done, like, a complete valley redesign or, like, a complete biome redesign? Does anyone frequently just, like, clear out their biomes and redo things? Or are you more of a, like, once it's decorated, I'm leaving it that way forever kind of person? I'm very curious. I always imagined I would be the type of person where, um, oh, brief interruption this is kind of what i imagined for like an icy path i think that might have been adora that mentioned something like that or yeah like that would be a really nice path to have hi ad how are you um what was i saying oh i always imagined i would be the type of person who would decorate something and then leave it that way forever but it turns out i'm not hi samantha Amanda, did they fix the house skin? Wait, the Frosty Fortress? So apparently it wasn't actually like... How do I explain this? Um, I think there was one... There might have been like one or two people who reported having an issue with it. But it wasn't apparently like a widespread issue. Like, I don't know if it was confirmed that that was the cause of the people's problem that had reported it. Because Dreamlight Valley tweeted a couple days ago, I think, that there's actually not an issue with the Frosty Fortress and you should be able to replace your main house with it without any problems. Once you finally get decorating down, you're never changing it. Maybe just slight changes, but yeah. Yeah, I, I, I do get very attached to things. But I think the thing for me was once I realized how much space decorating took up in terms of like the way that I used to decorate houses and still kind of do, I realized really quickly that um, it wasn't going to work long term because as we added more buildings and homes, I wasn't going to have space for anything else. So I kind of tried to force myself to... Um, just get rid of a lot of things just so I didn't become overly attached because I didn't want to be like just extremely sad <laughs> when I was forced to get rid of something 
You're chilling. Nice. You keep your decor usually, but you do change small bits. I should have gone out of, oh, that's pro oh, like partially why I think that took forever because I was all the way in the glade. Let me pop back up here. I want to pick up all of the things that are just on the ground. Where did this weekend go? It did seem like it went by very quickly. Okay, coins. It's so strange. You know what I kind of want to do? I kind of want to challenge myself. Um, do I want to say that? I'll say it. I'm not committing to it, though. I'm not committing to it. But I kind of want to challenge myself to design in more of a... How do I describe it? Like a flat way, if that makes sense. I usually decorate in a very, like, dense and tall way with, like, lots of trees and things. I think I want to try to not do that. Can't guarantee that I'll succeed because I like trees too much, but we're going to try. We're going to try. Penelope's candy biome quest scares you, so you're avoiding it until you have the guts to move everything all around again. Oh my goodness. Wait, yeah, because for that you have to put down like the candy cane trees and the lollipop trees. Is that it? And those candy cane trees, they take up so much space. Their footprint is so giant, and it's it's not like, I feel like some trees, even though they have a large footprint, I don't know if I'm going to be able to find one that I can explain, but you can still put things close to the trees, but the candy cane trees, wait, where are the candy cane trees located? Are they under pink? They might be under foliage, actually, now that I think of it. Uh, no, those are the lollipop ones. Are they under purple or red? Red, maybe? Like, why is it this big? <laughs> and it's not even like the footprint's this large, but you can still put things under it because the branches are high. Like, you really just can't put anything at all close to it, which is so inconvenient. So inconvenient. Have I seen the Dreamlight Decorista channel? I have. Um, I am trying to remember. Because I actually have watched quite a few. Like biome tours and valley tours recently. So I'm trying to remember exactly what their valley looked like. And I can't picture it in my mind. But. Based on the fact that I remember the name, I think I liked it quite a lot. You used the peppermint pathway from her door to the bridge and lined the pathway with candy cane and lollipops. That's nice. Fortnite girl, hello, how are you? Okay, let's um, also clear the glade out. <laughs> Oh, can you tell from the pause that I'm a little bit distressed about this? It's fine. I feel like clearing biomes for me, it's like I just have to do it. And if I wait too long or like um, think about it too much, that's when it becomes a problem. But when I just do it, it ends up being fine. Better be getting the valley tour after this. Listen, it's already, the video's already done. The video's already uploaded and everything, and it's scheduled for tomorrow. So everyone will see the valley tour. Um, it's a long one. So just, you know, be aware of that going into it. But it is available. So you can watch it as much as you want. <laughs> and, um,. Relive this iteration of my valley if you want to. I probably will. I don't know. Chances of me just having a point in time where I just cry over my old valley and watch the video are not zero. You understand for sure, just do it. Yeah, that's how I am. Like, if I think about it too much, I'll psych myself out about it and then I won't do it. But when I just do it, it's fine. 
you'll be home tomorrow let's do this <laughs> yeah i feel like my next two videos are actually going to be quite long my other video i'm also kind of in a period of time where i um uh where i what am i saying Oh, I've recorded it like twice, I think, um, the audio for it at least, uh, and I'm probably going to record it one more time, but that video I think is going to end up being like 25 to 35 minutes. I'm not 100% sure, but that one's also going to be a little bit long, so I'm like, listen, <laughs> you're in for a long one. Grab a drink, grab a snack, settle in. It's going to be a journey. Hi, Prib. How are you? Also, happy birthday, Lily. Hello. Good morning, Marvel fan. How are you? How's it going? It's going pretty good. I'm just, um, you know, completely undecorating my, for, uh, my glade and my frosted heights. And then we're going to start decorating again. The undecorating, I know it's kind of boring. I'm sorry. There's not really a way for me to do this any faster. But um, maybe it's like, I don't know. I imagine I would really like to watch somebody deconstructing their valley. I feel like it's kind of cathartic. And especially if somebody else is doing it, I feel like I'm not the one who actually has to. <laughs> I'm not the one who actually has to undo and redo something. So it's more enjoyable. So maybe I don't know. Maybe maybe it's good. Been trying to work a little uh, or work on a little guest house for people to visit in when multiplayer function finally happens. Ooh, that's cute. I don't have something like that completely, but actually, I, it's probably time for me to exit out of furniture mode so this can save because this is just a lot of changes, and we can do a little brief hiatus. I don't have a full like guest house sort of situation, but my Mike and Sully apartment building kind of functions like that. Um, for now, it's in the plaza. I don't really think I'm going to change my plaza soon. This one's probably going to stay the same for a while. Um, but I have it kind of like, I don't know. It reminds me kind of like a university dorm sort of situation. Uh, thank you so much, Marvel fan. I appreciate it. Uh, so we have this like lounge area, a little like computer bar area. Um... We have a library because everybody needs a library. It's just the way that it goes. This one's one of my favorites, I think. It's just very dark and cramped and cozy, and I love it. Um, and then we have like a dorm room sort of area that's got a couple beds. It also has all of my clothes, but ignore that. <laughs> it's got a couple beds, a little mini reading nook. And then the work in progress that I think, do I like this more than I did before? I was trying to work on this a little bit. Uh, I don't hate it, but something about it still feels off. But this is supposed to be sort of like a food court, kind of like um, university dining hall sort of area. So it's got like the little modular sections. So this is kind of like a guest house, sort of. Love it. Thank you. Thank you. It is kind of cathartic. I That's what I was hoping for, Nicole. You sadly got frustrated with your game on Switch. It kept glitching, so you completely deleted it. Oh, no. You're thinking about getting it on PC. Does it glitch less? It does. I've been having some, like, um, what would I call it? Hmm. Every now and then, uh, like loading in or out of furniture mode will take a little bit of time. But then again, um, before I started deleting things, I think I was at like 4,500 item count. So even though it's not the max, it is still a lot of items that might have something to do with it. Um, overall, the game runs really well on PC, I think. I have some like bugs and issues every now and then, but it's nothing too dramatic. Uh, thanks for popping by, Christian. Yours is a purple cottage. You put it in the forest. That's really cute. Ooh, that could make like, I'm not sure exactly what kind of vibe you're going for, but that could make like a super cozy, like bed and breakfast sort of vibe. That would be a lot of fun. 40 likes. Oh my goodness. Thank you so much for the 42 likes. I appreciate it so much. 
Just watched the new Spider-Man trailer. Nice. Switch glitches like crazy. Yeah, I do actually play on Switch still sometimes. Um, actually quite a bit. Usually if I'm playing in the evenings, I'll play on Switch. And it's, uh, it's, she's a little laggy. She's a little slow. Again, though, I was at like 4,500 items still playing on Switch because, um, if you play on another platform that allows the increased item count, it'll still transfer over to the Switch. It'll be like, are you sure you want to play this on this platform because it's not going to work well, bestie? And I'm like, yeah, it's fine. <laughs> and, um, it, it's, it's a little, it's a little laggy, but, um, it's playable, but not necessarily always the most enjoyable. Okay, all of that, ooh, in the tree. Hi, Summer Girl, how are you? Okay, all of this needs to leave. Oh, I can finally reach these gems and things that were thrown in areas that I couldn't get them. That's kind of fun. I don't know what I'm going to do with these trees now. Hmm. I might end up moving them up to the Frosted Heights. No, that doesn't feel right. I don't know. I don't really have, or I won't really have an area that has like a lot of pinks and purples now. I'm not really anticipating, so I don't know where I'm going to put these trees. Okay, let's see. I'm really... Ooh, two blue chests. Oh my goodness, what are the odds? I mean, I never run back there. I actually could have run back there. It was completely open, but apparently I just never do. Um, I'm just really excited for new characters. I'm... Oddly excited for new character homes, even though I feel like I have no space in my valley. Um, I'm still looking forward to it. I'm excited about new realms. I don't know. I just really, really feel in my spirit. And I know this is wishful thinking and probably not actually reality, but I feel in my spirit like we could be getting a really big, like, full release update at the end of the year. So that's what I'm hoping for. I just want new things. I feel like I've been trying to stretch out the update content as much as I can. And, uh, well, we're like a month after the update now, and I'm just now finishing up the Vanessa bundle quest. So I would say that's not too bad, but I do still feel like we reach a period of time, or at least I do, a couple to a few weeks after the update where I'm just like, okay, but now what, you know? And decorating is a lot of fun, but sometimes my valley is like fully decorated and I'm like, okay, but what am I supposed to do now? You found a blue Easter egg in Sunlit when redecorating a month ago. Oh my goodness. Yeah, that event was a long time ago too. In just about a week and a half, we're gonna have the candy bucket showing up in our plaza. So that'll be fun. Um, ever seen three characters doing their talk animation at each other? I think I have, yeah. I don't think I've ever seen three characters actually talking with, like, conversation bubbles, but I have seen three characters just, like, in the same area looking like they're talking to each other. You'd be surprised if they give us full release without telling us the day before. Listen. <laughs> I feel like they would tell us like more than the day before, but maybe not much more. But it's really interesting because um, this is a little bit of a spoiler at my like of my next video that's going to be coming um, after the Valley tour. But um, Dreamlight Valley for a really long time on social media, they were responding to people, telling people that um, 
full release was going to be coming in 2023. Like, they would reply with that kind of thing all the time. And they really haven't done that at all in the past several months. Like, they've been pretty hush-hush about full release. Which was making me feel like, okay, maybe they're not so sure that it's coming this year still. But it's interesting because their website still says that full release is coming in 2023 and granted maybe they just don't really have people who like look through every page of their website and update it frequently but i feel like that would be important to change if you weren't planning on releasing the game fully in 2023 like you know what i mean i feel like they would have changed that sooner hi alfie how are you So, I don't know. I'm still, like, keeping hope alive that full release is going to be this year, but we're also, we're in the middle of October already, which is wild and crazy enough on its own, but for the game to be dropping fully this year when it's the middle of October feels, I don't know, like it would be strange. A part of you kind of feels like maybe free to play is not their plan anymore. Like the fact there's a physical edition coming is a bit strange. It's it's a bit strange. Um but I still I don't know. Does anyone play any full really or like any free to play games that have a physical edition? I've not heard of that kind of a thing before, but I don't play a lot of free to play games. Well, I play I play a couple. Actually, I play more than I used to, but um I'm not familiar with that concept. I still think they will go free to play. I feel like it would be wild and crazy if they just decided to... Uh, well, I can you... Hmm. <laughs> I feel like they have to. That would be a huge 180. Also, I feel like pretty much all of Game Loft's games are free to play. If I'm not mistaken, I'm not like the most knowledgeable about everything Game Loft, but I'm thinking like Disney Magic Kingdoms. They do a lot of mobile games though, so that makes sense. Disney Magic Kingdoms, Disney Speedstorm, they have the Asphalt games. I think those are all free to play. I'm sure they have a bunch of other games that I just don't know about, but I think free to play is pretty much their MO, right? Thank you, Alfie. I appreciate it. You've never seen a free-to-play game that has a physical edition, which is why it's really interesting. That's fair. Very fair. There's a Fortnite physical edition. Okay. Interesting. Okay. Oh, I still have this island here. I was like, we're done. We're not done. <laughs> we are not done. Not quite. Where is this tree? Oh, that's the willow. It's like, where's this uh, foliage coming from that's blocking my view? That's the actual willow tree. Also with Speedstorm, they announced the free-to-play launch like three months in advance, whereas they haven't said a word about Dreamlight Valley yet. That's true, but Speedstorm in general announces things a lot ahead of time, um, like their updates, dates, and things like that as well. Whereas Dreamlight Valley tells us a day or two beforehand. Okay, let's clean up around here as well. You just turned your forest into a non-forest. Ooh, what did you do with it? Okay. Oh, I forgot to get rid of all this path. It just blends in. So I forgot it existed. Where else do I have paths? I think that might have been it, actually. No, here. And that was all candy path. Okay, I think that's it. You do think free-to-play is probably still coming, but you don't know about this year anymore. Maybe they want to make sure stuff like multiplayer is out and stable first. It's very possible. Like, I did think that... We would get multiplayer before the game full re fully released and they haven't really they haven't said anything about full release so it's very possible that they're pushing it back i just also feel like 
They should have updated their website, if that's true. Like, the main official source of information about the game, and it still says that free-to-play is coming this year. Watching me deconstruct and reconstruct is so satisfying to watch. That's good. I'm glad. It does feel surprisingly nice. Hmm. <laughs> Stop. I was about to say, should I just undo the entire valley? I don't know. There's just like such a sense of freedom. Looking at a completely barren biome that's just empty. Full of possibility and potential, but nothing going on. I really like it, but, um... I, like, the other side of that coin is the minor sense of panic when I'm trying to decorate a biome that's completely empty, so I don't know. You got rid of all the trees for now while you built your amusement park. Ooh, yeah, a lot of people I've seen have their amusement park in the forest. That's pretty fun. Every now and then I think about doing another amusement park build, but I don't think I want to. I think it's a little bit outside of, like, my creative ability. Okay. I'm not gonna bother with, like, mushrooms and sticks and things. Actually, I can pick up the sticks because I have no trees. I was going to say because it's just gonna respawn um, before I come back and decorate, but... With no trees, the sticks actually won't. So I will pick these up. So this is where all your blue chests are because you haven't seen any in like two weeks. Meanwhile, I have them all. I don't have them all. Mine are just like all there because uh, I don't usually check for them every day. I try to, but I do a very cursory sweep of the valley. Um, and if I don't see them easily, I just don't get them. So these ones were kind of hidden. I really need to get them every day because, I don't know, it's just hard with dream snaps. I don't know, if you get a lot of moonstones every week, it's like the 350 from daily chests doesn't feel like a lot, but 350 moonstones a week is a lot of moonstones. Where's my calculator? Where's the math? <laughs> This is the kind of thing I need to do to convince myself to actually um, get my daily blue chests. 350 moonstones per week times 52 weeks. That's 18,000 moonstones. That's like 75 bucks. I need to collect them. Okay, wait, was there anything else? I think I got everything. Oh, almost everything. Hi, Ghosty. How are you? You spent countless hours decorating your valley, so you give me props. Oh my goodness. I don't know. I feel like I encourage everyone to try it at least once. It doesn't have to be your whole valley. Just like one biome. <laughs> Just pick one biome and be like, you know what? You're gone. It's strangely enjoyable. Okay, let's go back up here. I'm probably going to still be popping back between the biomes. The reason I cleared both of these are is because I think... Well, there's definitely a building I want to add to the glade. And I think a couple of the houses in the glade I'm going to move up here. I do need to clear these because I'm not going to have space for uh, the thing. You're putting organic shaped pumpkin patches in your forgotten lands in all the bare grass areas. Oh, nice. Hello. Did you pick this up? Oh, yes. There was just a big delay there. Sometimes your blue chests don't show up every day and then boom, you have three in one day. Wait, really? I don't think that's ever happened to me. You need more moonstones, but you can't afford to pay real money for them. That's totally understandable. Are you doing dream snaps every week? Okay. Um, this... Oh, we'll actually get to look at it up close. We looked at it on the beach, but we haven't looked at it actually in the Frosted Heights. So let me do that first. Hi, Rachel. Also, thank you. Thank you so much. Um, the only thing about this house 
that I've seen other people point out as well is that you really only can get the full effect of it from really far away. Like, look how, like, even if I'm on the other side of the biome, I can't see the entirety of the house in my, my vision. Like, I have to be all the way back here to even see the entire thing. And when you're up close, it's just rocks. So that's probably my one complaint about it. But it is cute. It has some nice details, but you just can't see any of them because it's too big. You just destroyed your amusement park because you're rebuilding it and all your valley is a mess and has no decoration in it now. That's... I mean, been there for sure. It's kind of a sad place to be, but also kind of a nice place to be. Because, like, you can do whatever you want. The world is your oyster. Um, okay. Hmm. I kind of want to move these down here for now because I don't imagine I'm going to be putting a lot of stuff in this area. So if I put these here, they'll be out of the way while we kind of try to lay out where we're going to put all of these buildings. You need to do better on Dream Snaps, but people don't like your stuff. You're on Switch. Dream Snaps is hard. It's always hard to to kind of gauge what people are going to like. It's hard to kind of make something that you really like and are proud of that also is something other people are going to like. Like, I'm a little bit worried about this coming up week, uh, the Dream Snaps rewards from the Nightmare Before Christmas. Because I liked my picture a lot, but I feel like it's not the kind of picture that a lot of people are going to like. Um, and then this week's Dream Snaps, I'm even more worried about because I... This pirate's theme is not for me. It's not for me. Thank you so much, Rachel, if I didn't say thank you already. You're excited for whatever the next biomes end up being. It's going to be so fun for you to decorate them with all the experience you have now. Oh my goodness, we need new biomes. I feel like if we don't get them, I'm going to be so sad. Like, I feel like if we hadn't had a hint that we were getting new biomes, I would just make do. But the fact that they made it feel like we're getting or seem like we're getting new biomes... Now, if we ended up not getting them, I would be really upset. Okay, um, I think I want to move these here. Even though I don't, like, adore the idea of having these things up here. Mostly just because I don't actually really like these houses that much. Vanellope's house, it's cute, but it's not for me. The sweet house, really beautiful. Super gorgeous. But also, like, not my ideal style. And I know it's in, like, then why did you get it, but... I wanted it. <laughs> I wanted it. But I want someplace better for it. Hi, kitty. How are you? Thank you for stopping by. And thank you for the happy anniversary wishes. Thank you. Thank you. That's what's disappointing to you, too, that you can't see it. Yeah, you can't see it. Hi, Christina. How are you? Drive safely, please. House is definitely meant to add dimension from afar. You feel like it feels so epic in a way. It does. It really does, but also, I don't know. I feel like having these three things together could work. I don't know what side I want to put them on. I kind of want this here, but, like, it's too big. <laughs> this house is too giant. I don't know what to say. It's too giant of a house. I feel like it needs to go here. I feel like there's no other place that it can go. Unless you put it, like, here. Actually, hold up, hold up. New biomes would be amazing. I agree. You think sometimes kids vote on the dream snaps like the parents don't want to vote and let their kids do it? Maybe. You would be shocked if new biomes aren't a thing. They're all but confirmed with all the hints the last two updates. That's true. See, you could do something like this where you can like see it coming up the, the steps at least. But it feels like it needs to be nestled back into the into the cliffside. 
After seeing how blurry your dream snap was, you think you're going to pass on doing them because you wouldn't vote on a blurry pick, so why bother? I definitely think you should still do them, Deja. Even if you don't put, like, a huge amount of effort into them, even just 300 moonstones a week is really solid. But also, I... Like, personally, I will still vote on dream snaps, even if they're blurry, because I just look at the picture and... Like, the thought that went into it, and I don't care as much about, um, about, like, the way the picture looks. Well, that doesn't make any sense. I don't care that much <laughs> about if it's blurry, because I know that's not the fault of the person who took the picture. It's just the platform, you know? Hi, Isabel. How are you? I'm trying to see... Would I still be able to come through here? I would still be able to come through here if this was here. Which is nice. Better than when I had the Arendelle castle over here. Hmm, I'm gonna have to think on it. The only thing is that then there's this giant wall back here, like... What are you gonna do with that, you know? Hmm... Okay, well, if I put that there... Which I kind of like in theory, but also not, I don't know. You go for what fits the theme more between the two options. Yeah, totally fair. You were so crushed when you saw your submission. Yeah, I mean, I think... I feel like probably most people don't... Um, vote based on, like, the photo quality, like, in terms of blurriness. I would be surprised if that was a big factor for people. Because it's not something you have any control over. This is kind of a cool setup for this. Like, in front of this pond. Hmm. Ooh, I wish we could push this, like, back further if this pond was, like... I don't know. That would be really nice. Of course the music's gone <laughs> when I... <laughs> In my brainstorming mode where I just, like, turn silent. You think dream snaps are heavily biased towards PC players? And you say that as one yourself, it's very easy to make your photos look inherently nice quality-wise. Yeah, the quality on PC is pretty good. Although sometimes, to be fair, mine still look blurry, and I don't know why. I tried adjusting some of my settings, but they still look blurry. Hmm... I want to put this carousel in the glade? Not really, honestly, but like... I need to be able to get rid of Woody's house. And that's very mean of me, but it's just the truth. I need to not have it. <laughs> I don't want it anymore. Um, oh, you know what I do need to make room for, though? I need to make sure I have room for this. Um, which I kind of want to put... Oh, let me move this fern. Not there. But close. Uh, fern... You use tags, but sometimes, like, for Nightmare Before Christmas, you had to put random stuff out just to send it in. Yeah, the tags also make it difficult sometimes. They're not always the best fit for the theme. That's weird that this goes over the pond. Um, I kind of want it here. But that's also, I feel like, not enough space in front of it. Hopefully they allow us to move pawns around in the future, not holding your breath, though. I'm really torn about whether I want to be able to move pawns or not. Really, really torn. I like the idea in theory, but... I get easily overwhelmed if I have, like, too many options for things. <laughs> so, I don't know. Hi, RC. And thank you, thank you, thank you. You have it in the glade. Wait, Woody's carousel? Hmm. Like, I like the idea of this being here. We just wouldn't be able to make, like, a grand entry area or anything. Which is not necessarily a bad thing. Isn't Dream Snaps multiplayer? It's a multiplayer feature. Your 
it breaks your heart that so many people are so hard on themselves about their dream snap. Like, it's a new thing that's far from perfect, so just have to try not to take it personally. That's true, yeah. I think, though, I mean, it makes sense. Anything that's, like, a competition, you know, people are going to feel like they want to do their best, which I totally get. I'm that way, too. I try to just make sure that I'm happy with whatever I'm putting out there. And as long as I'm happy with it, I feel like that's good. Like, I can't control what other people do or don't like, but I can make sure that I'm happy with it. You know, like, I would rather put out something that I feel like I did my best and I feel like is a good image than feel like I'm trying to cater to everybody else, not really love it, and then also not do well, you know? I kind of like it here, but I also kind of don't want it so close to the waterfall. I don't know. They should get rid of tags, in your opinion. They actually handicap people's creativity. The only thing about the tags, I think, is that... Actually, I don't know. The tags can be good to help you, like... with your performance sometimes, but I don't know. Yeah, pros and cons. I'm not 100% sure about this haunted mansion yet, actually. I like, I mean, either way, I'm not going to be able to do like a huge entry moment. Why is this causing problems? But I'm not sure whether I prefer it over this bridge. This bridge looks more rickety and like, ah, uh, yes. It's dilapidated. We're going to an old house. Whereas this one feels more just like... This one feels nicer in a way. I don't know. Let's go back up to the Frosted Heights. You heard that Dreamlight Valley is going to be free. It is going to be free eventually. We don't know when. Hopefully this year. But that's starting to feel less and less likely. But it could still happen. Definitely could still happen. Um, do I want these back here? Do I want them back here? It feels weird to put them by the cave. What if I put this like here? And here. Oops. Have to be proud of it ourselves and just have fun. Yeah, that's how I look at it. And honestly, I try not to like, I mean, I would love to get 4,000 moonstones every week. That would be amazing. But um, I try to remember that the moonstones are just extra, right? So any moonstones that I'm getting, that's great because that's moonstones I didn't have to pay for. And I try to just sort of have that mindset. Hmm. I'm. This is taking a long time. I'm really sorry. <laughs> this is not the most exciting part of decorating, but I feel like it's the part that takes the longest, like actually finding a layout for the buildings. And then you can kind of go from around that. But if I don't have a layout, I'm going to just be flustered and just fly in by the seat of my pants. You heard that before the end of 2023. Yeah, it's all kind of like a bit of speculation at this point. Their website still says that the game's going to be free before the end of 2023, but they haven't actually announced a date or talked about it at all recently. So it's hard to say for sure. Hmm. I think... I think I don't really mind having these like this. Let me run around and 
I was gonna call it live mode because I've played way too much uh, The Sims. You want the version with all the different raccoons? Actually, you just want the raccoons. Yeah, that comes out um, the 27th, right? Less than two weeks. They should offer the raccoons to everyone that plays already. You want to code for them. I, I know they won't. It would be very nice if they did, but I know they won't. Because that's like the entire allure, really, of the physical edition, right? Because at the end of the day, I don't think people really are bothered that much about like the physical posters that you get. I'm not that bothered by them. I haven't seen a lot of people chattering about it. But um, the raccoons and the sweater, like that's what's going to get people to give their money, I think. <laughs> that's going to really entice people. You found three blue chests yesterday after not getting one for a few days. Wow. Hmm. I don't know. <laughs> I am having such mixed feelings about this. Uh... Do I want to push this back? You do hope the new biomes aren't added to the existing map. You doubt they will be, but imagine the item limit. Uh, yeah, especially for people who still have the 3000 item limit adding because it looks like we're getting three new biomes, at least from the image, right? Adding three additional biomes. So how many would that be? How many biomes do we have? Seven? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So that would be 11 biomes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 11 biomes with 3,000 items. That would be rough. Do I know the game Disney Speedstorm? Yeah, I play Disney Speedstorm on the channel sometimes. And I've been trying to keep up with it more in my, um, like, just personally. In fact, I just did the Gaston Cup today before stream because I had not done it previously okay I think this well is gonna go here I think for now listen the frosted heights is looking barren <laughs> it's looking barren but it's gonna fill out I think and I feel like for now I'm okay with this this still feels weird just being a giant like build it like face of a building right there but if I put it over here I'm not going to be able to see it hmm let me just try this a couple more times if we moved this like here or something if we had the well like here or something Let me see. You can't believe that you have to get it for your Xbox 360 and not the Series SX, the physical edition. I haven't really looked at the physical edition, like where you can get it. Or I need to look into that, though, because I'll probably get it. Um, but like how to link the accounts and everything. Yeah, see, you're just I mean, maybe, you know, Hold up. <laughs> Actually, why do I feel like I kind of... As long as we can keep this pathway sort of open so we can still see that, I don't think I mind this. Keeping the biome pretty open. You might be able to shift these houses around a little bit. And I might bring this market area up here. I think that's going to work. Let me just put these here for now. Aren't this on that side of the pond or on this side?
This side is probably going to be a little nicer, probably. You don't play Speedstorm that much, but when you say you're, uh, oh, yes, the Frozen and Little Mermaid are the next two seasons in Speedstorm, and I'm so excited. I've been saying that I really wanted a Frozen season in Speedstorm. That was pretty much my answer for what I wanted in Speedstorm anytime someone would ask me, so I'm very excited about that. Okay, I think I like this. Do I think we're going to get a Christmas house? I don't, we'll deal with that later. <laughs> That's a problem for future me. Um, I'm like, hmm, wait, do I need to leave a space for like a Christmas uh, player house? I don't know. I mean, we have the before Christmas haunted mansion, but I still feel like there's a chance that we're going to get like a festive decorated um, house skin. Does anybody else feel that way? Maybe I want this here. Wait, what does this look like from the back? Oh, this one has a front door and a back door, though. Do we want to make sure we play off of that? I don't know. I mean, we could put this, like, right up here. And do something in the back if we wanted. Maybe. You're really hoping they figure out how to get the item limit up for Switch users soon. I hope so, too. Um, I know they're really concerned about performance, and I feel like that is probably a good thing to, <laughs> to be primarily concerned about because it's not going to do anybody any good if they add... Um, an increased item limit and the game just is like unplayable but it would be really nice to have a better item limit okay it's kind of foggy now the fog is less easy to decorate in than the rain at least it's foggy in the frosted heights okay i think i'm pretty happy with that layout in the frosted heights that's probably the area we're gonna decorate or like start decorating but I kind of a little bit also want to play with um, the layout in the glade, I think. Oh, I still have to figure out what I'm doing with this. I should move this to the Frosted Heights. Let me see. Let me see if I have space for it or what I want to do with this. Wait, are what in the game, Arthur? I don't know what that is. Can I imagine if the devs made a Zootopia-themed biome? Ooh... Listen, this might be an unpopular opinion, but, um, what am I thinking of? Elemental? I know we had Elemental represented in the Star Path recently, but I really liked the movie Elemental. I liked it a lot, and the city in that movie was gorgeous. I would not be opposed to having something like that. Let me pick up this. Am I planning on doing a mini community with the two candy houses? I'm gonna have them next to each other. I don't know exactly what vibe I'm going for. I kind of also wanna have this carousel here. I don't really like this carousel, but I think I'm gonna like it even less in the glade, if that makes sense. It's just kind of large and obtrusive. I don't really want it to be visible from the steps. Put the frozen castle on the other side of the pond and put the new house skin where the frozen house is. Wait, that? I kind of like the new house skin pushed up against the cliff because it feels like it's built into a cliff. So I kind of want to have it there. The Halloween Star Path has been excellent this year, so you're looking forward to the winter holiday one. I kind of am still of the opinion where I would prefer to have, like, um... How do we feel about this? Undecided. I would prefer to have just, like, a winter-themed 
star path instead of a winter holiday themed star path because I feel like I never use the holiday items but I'm sure we'll get a holiday theme because how could we not I think this is going to be okay A city biome is definitely going to have to happen sometime. There's going to be so many future characters with houses that won't fit the vibe anywhere. The only thing about a city biome is, like, I don't know what it would look like. Does that make sense? Like, what does a city biome look like? Like, just... Hmm. I don't know how to explain it. Because, like, the winter-themed biome, like, that's easy enough. You have, like, snow-covered ground icy peaks and like snow covered trees but like what does a city biome look like because what makes a city is usually buildings and i don't think they would have just like a bunch of empty buildings but maybe okay so we definitely want to have a bunch of frozen mills oh let me actually grab out hmm what am i looking for what am i looking for I'm looking for the Frozen collection. Let me drink some of my coffee. You think the two candy houses and the carousel definitely fit in? I am just a little bit... I mean, I feel like the layout is a little odd with the carousel facing this way and the candy house face or Vanellope's house facing this way. But I feel like when we throw some pathing in and some decor and stuff like that, I think it's going to work out. I think it will. Um, frozen items. That's what I was looking for. Oh, wait, I'm so excited actually to decorate the Frosty Fortress because um, I can use some of the frozen items that I haven't really used. That's going to be fun. I didn't know this was in the Frozen collection. That's nice. You vote on if they do the theme or not. Wait, what do you mean? You much prefer specific theme star paths rather than holiday ones, but yeah. Yeah, I mean, don't get me wrong. The holiday items that we got last year are beautiful. They're gorgeous items. It's just that I feel like I don't use them because... I don't have, like, a specific area of my valley dedicated to Christmas. So, um, I just end up not using those items. Like, I have one Christmas-themed room in my main house. But other than that, unless it's actually Christmas time, I'm never going to see those items or use them. Nightthorns taking over a Big Hero 6 biome would be really cool for a city. Big Hero 6 is so underrated. I love Big Hero 6. Um, you know what? Wait, stop. I'm gonna <laughs> I'm gonna go on a tangent. I love Big Hero 6. I do. It's so good. Also, um Disney Magic Kingdoms has Big Hero 6 characters, and you know who one of them is? Honey Lemon. You know who I really want in Dreamlight Valley? Honey Lemon. I feel like it's a long shot, but I want her, and I hope they add her to the game. I really think if we get Big Hero 6 characters, it's just going to be Hero and Baymax, but a girl can dream. Let me grab out some of these pillars. Sometimes I think these pillars look a little odd. Like sometimes I think pillars in general just look a little strange <laughs> having just out and about, but we're gonna try to see if this can work. Need to remember there are a lot of newer or newer players that don't have any holiday items yet though. I know, I'm not trying to take that away from anybody. I'm sure we will get holiday items, but I just, in my decorating style, I don't use holiday items. But also for the new players, I feel like we will get that Christmas, um, like, wrapping paper event back. Did that give us some items or did that give us some clothing? I can't remember. But I feel like that'll be coming back. Where's that music coming from? Wait, 
Wait, what? I don't know where that music is coming from. It's like when I'm in one specific spot it plays. I think I want to do something like this. I don't know if that's even. We're going to pretend it is. You just got here and heard the chat about Baymax. <laughs> yes. One Christmas room in your main house. Yeah, and it's a cute room. It's a very cute room, but I don't really hang out in there. And I'm not really going to do a lot of other Christmas stuff, probably. Okay, wait, I think this could be nice if we add some trees or something back here. Just a little fountain courtyard area. I might push this back a tiny bit. You're so hard on yourself for dream snaps. You feel happy until you get the results. Like the fall one was horrible. Yeah, the fall one was the worst one I'd had in a while. I mean, I didn't even do poorly on it. I just didn't do as well as I typically do. But that's okay. I feel like this is technically the center, but I feel like... No, I'll probably leave it there. I don't know. I kind of want to move it over. So this like squ uh, swirl moment. I almost said squirrel. What? <laughs> so the swirl moment is more centered. Maybe. When Kingdom Hearts did Big Hero 6, it wasn't that bad. They have a uh, some of a wait. A foundation to build a pretty cool city. That's like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, okay, I think that's going to be nice. Um, frozen Anna. I don't know what we do with this. Do we put her back here by the fountain, maybe? Maybe. You know, we got a Santa hat from one of the wrapping paper duties. Yeah. I think we also got a set of ears, maybe. Or that might have been from the castle, the presence under the castle. I can't remember. There was also a set of ears from Scrooge, but I think there were two different sets of ears. No, there were three because there were two candy cane ones. One that was like regular candy cane and one that was like candy cane ears with a bow. Yeah, there were a couple. Okay, I think this is potentially going to be cute. Do I actually want any paving? Under this area? If I did, I think I would use this one. Am I near one of the magic travel walls when I hear the music? Wait, they do have their own music? Do they? Hold up. I never knew that. Wait, was it the carousel? It might have been the carousel. Because it wasn't that. It might have been that, but it's not playing any music right now. The fall one would have made more sense if we had autumn colored trees. We have those uh, Japanese maples that are kind of nice. When do they start the October candy event? On the 24th. So about two weeks. A week and a half, less than two weeks. Um, let me see. I don't know if I want this whole area covered. That feels, I like the way that it looks. I don't think I want to cover it. I don't think I even want to cover under this fountain, to be honest. I don't. Mm, maybe, but I don't know. Did I name my forgotten or are you the only one? I've been trying to think of a name. Because I wonder if we are going to be able to name them. Because in the quest that we had recently, we talked about it. Uh, I haven't given her a name yet. Okay, time to start grabbing out some trees, I think. 
Or should I figure out the path situation first? It's so foggy, though. It makes it difficult to decorate. Okay, let me leave out of decorating mode for a minute. It's more like a perpetual sound effect. Oh, yeah, the wells. I do know that sound, actually. I wish the rain would stop. That would be awesome. Oh, let me actually go check uh, Moana's boat and the greenhouse. It's been a little while since we picked things up from there. This is so great. Oh, the rain has stopped. Perfect. I have all this stuff in my inventory. Oh my goodness. Oh, <laughs> nice. <laughs> it's like, girl, you're not wearing the right hair. And I'm like, sorry. I really like this braid with the headband. I think it's cute. Without the headband, it looks kind of odd. You named yours Alora. Because that's your na the name your mom was set on giving you, but your dad said no. That's sweet. I was born like... Um, way earlier than I should have been and my parents hadn't decided on a name yet so they just like put three names in a hat and drew one out <laughs> and that's how I got my name welcome back Arthur the carousel does have its own music it's kind of like you've got a friend in me mm, that probably won't play for me because I have streamer friendly mode on Mm. No, that's just the valley music. Okay, give me like 15 seconds. I have to quickly go refill up my water. But we'll just stand here. I'll be right, right back. Okay, I've returned. Anyway, <laughs> are there levels in this game? No, it's all pretty like, um, how do I explain it? Like you have, uh, your character has a level, so you level up by doing things around the valley. But the way that the game works, you're pretty much talking to the villagers, doing quests with them, exploring realms, bringing more villagers to your valley. Um, you can decorate your valley. It's a pretty, like, chill and cozy game. Okay, I need trees. You called your forgotten Aklis? Is that how you pronounce that? I don't know that name. It looks very pretty. I'm sure it sounds pretty when you say it properly. <laughs> you still want to put Jafar in Frosted Heights? Oh my goodness. I don't know if he would like that very much. But that's kind of a major power move. I think I do want to put this somewhere right around here. Just got back from Minecraft Live. Nice, nice, nice. Yes, that's pretty. Oh, the Frosted Heights looks so nice when it's <laughs> not uh, snowing and foggy. We can actually see things. Yes, wait, this is going to be cute. I can feel it in my spirit. Okay, 
Um, I do want a path. And I think I actually want the snowy brick path without a border. I think that's going to be more the vibe. I need a Christmas tree in the Frosted Heights. I don't think I'm going to put one in the... Well, I don't know, because I usually keep my seasonal decorations to the plaza. And only for, like, the season that we're in. So I don't know if I'm going to put a Christmas tree in the Frosted Heights or not. It would definitely fit the vibe. Maybe I will when it's actually, like, closer to Christmas. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I wish we could curve paths. Like, does that make sense? I know with the uh, path of borders, they have, like, rounded edges, but I wish we could actually make, like, a properly curved path. You're so over us getting the villains before the princesses, though. Gothel and Jafar before Rapunzel and Jasmine. So in serious. I understand why. Because, like, the villains are really pushing the story forward in the valley. But I need my girls. I need Rapunzel. Um, I need Tiana, even though we don't have Dr. Facilia yet. But I need Tiana. Jasmine, absolutely. I just need all of the princesses to show up ASAP. Like, where are they? <laughs> where are they all? That is my question. Hmm. Ooh. This is not my tree. That tree just exists there, but it's in the way. Oh, I did pronounce it right. Okay, that's good. It was just, there was so much hesitation in my voice. I was like, is that right? All your biomes are more or less naked. Looks so weird. Tomorrow you start decorating again. Ah, yes. It's strange, but it's kind of nice to see them just, like, undecorated. Or is it just me? I don't know. I kind of like it. I don't know exactly what I'm going to do with this. I might... Hmm, that's going to be very similar to what I had before. I was going to just bring this path out in this way. But I think I will do that. I have to decide whether I want this snowy brick path here or whether I want the gem and opal road coming out of this castle but I think you know what actually I think I think I don't want it here at all I think I want it to pick up after this icy part because I actually love the look of this icy part that's why I would really like a pathway that looked like that. And I think we'll just pick this up somewhere like here. Which character am I more friends with in the game? Um, like level wise, I have everyone at the same space, like at the same place. My favorite characters. Mm, I really like Anna in the valley. I think she's super cute and super sweet and always just like checking in on us. I really like Wally. Mm, I love Belle. Belle's my favorite. I almost forgot for a minute that we had Belle. That's wild. Okay. Yes, this can go there. But then this has to go that way. Brilliant. Maybe. I don't know. It works. Anyone watching Goosebumps on Disney Plus? I haven't considered whether I'm going to watch it or not. I haven't really thought about it that much. I wasn't really like a Goosebumps fan growing up. So I don't really have a nostalgic connection to it. Why don't we push this like that, maybe? 
So we got a wider path. Mm, maybe. I don't know. You're probably biased, but princesses need to take priority as additions, in your opinion. They're pretty much the heart and soul of Disney, really. I kind of agree. Like, I understand they also don't want to give us all of the most popular characters right away, because they want to give us something to look forward to, I think, is probably sort of the mindset. But, um... I want the princesses. <laughs> but I want the princesses. So we'll see when we end up getting them. Do I want a path going straight here? Probably. If we have Jafar, we would probably need to have Iago as an animal companion. I don't know, because Iago talks. So I'm not sure whether they would want to make Iago a companion to follow us around. But I don't know. I really hope we do get more companions that are inspired by actual characters, though, because the only one we have right now is Pua. And I love Pua, but I, there are so many really great characters that I would love to see as companions. Any of the Disney cats. I talk about the Disney cats all the time. Dinah. Figaro. You watched Goosebumps as a child. One of the epi episodes scared you. Yeah, I don't really do scary things very much. It's not my vibe. It's not my favorite. Uh, so it never really has been. What I do love is a good Christmas movie. So usually, um, like my partner really loves scary movies. So usually I'll end up watching like one scary movie per season, like Halloween season. And um, then I'll have my partner watch one Christmas movie with me because he doesn't really like Christmas movies. Listen, I know this looks like a mess. <laughs> Just let it happen. <laughs> Just let it happen for now. It's gonna be fine. I'll make it look better. But for now, it's just going to look like a mess. That's just the way it's going to have to be. I don't want this to do that. I want this to do something like this. But less so. Less dramatically. I want it to be something like this. I know it's uneven. I do. But I still think we can make it work. Like, hey, hey, not hey, hey. <laughs> not hey, hey. You watched Monster High and Monster High 2 last night. Yeah, I'm familiar with Monster High. Uh, both of my sisters are big Monster High fans. Um, I don't think I've ever watched any of the movies fully through or there's a show too isn't there I haven't watched any of it like all the way through but I know a lot of the songs I've seen many of the music videos you'd like to see Oliver and Dodger Oliver is so cute I love Oliver I actually haven't watched Oliver and Company for a while. I probably should. Okay, I think... How do we make this work? 
actually, I might want to throw the market back here again, where I had it before. Just, uh, arranged a little bit differently, maybe? Could try the classic curved path with stones on the border. Still looks really pretty. I might do that. I mean, I'm definitely gonna, like, fix the way it looks. Like, add, I don't know, bushes, stones, or something to get the apps, like, the actual look I'm going for. But, um, now that I moved that, I actually need to connect these. So, this is gonna end up looking completely different anyway. Um, probably connect from here. Random question. Is there an Ursula glitch? You haven't been able to find her for hours. Listen, I don't know if there's like an official Ursula glitch, but there's got to be an unofficial one because she disappears from me like all the time. All the time. Usually I can get her to show up by going into her house and then coming out again. Um, but that doesn't always work for me, but usually it does. So I would recommend trying that if you haven't already. I feel like she's always been like that for me a little bit. Like she just kind of is not around. This feels wrong. Paths are so weird. Why are paths weird? <laughs> I'm trying to get what I want, and I don't know what that is. Something like that, maybe? Well, let me walk through this. She takes her personal day seriously. I guess so. Hmm. I love that the uh, rainbow fox sometimes just, like, slides. It just did it. It was just kind of like gliding next to me. Um, okay. This will connect there. I don't know. We'll probably just have some trees or something here. Leave this pretty open so we can see that way. This here. We'll connect this eventually. Probably just do a stone path to here. And I don't think that's too bad. I'm okay with this so far. We're making some progress. Um, this. I'm gonna bring this this way. Yes. Uh, is that wide enough? I feel like that's wide enough. It's not centered, but I don't think I'm going to be able to have it fully centered. <laughs> this looks like such a mess. It's fine. We're going to add stuff that's going to make the edges of the path not look as bad. But it is pretty funny when you just look at it. That's funny. Okay. Um, rocks. You know, I used to never really... Um, use paths in my biomes like when I first started decorating I would have the houses sort of um just staggered throughout the biome wherever I wanted them and then I would really only add paths um just in the area immediately leading up to the house it was only somewhat recently that I started uh putting paths throughout the entirety of the biome. Or the majority of the biome, rather. You did no luck. You even tried to switch her to human form and back again, and she won't show up. I'm sorry that's happening to you. That's very annoying. I 
feel like... Let me bring this... Nope, this way? Yes. There. And then I'll probably just cover this with rocks as well to try to get it to a little bit blend in more. It's not going to because they're different paths, but we can do what we can. When I play on PC, am I using Steam? Yeah, I have the game through Steam. Okay. Beautiful. Oh, you know what might be nice? What might be nice is another fountain kind of in this area. Hmm. Let me see. Oh, I also have to remember these exist. I should probably use some of those. The only thing about this is that it's kind of weird, like, um, the entryway, because it would make sense to have that, like, in the middle here, but then it's not in the middle here. Maybe I will actually try to push this into the proper middle. and design this area around that, that might work. Yeah, that may work. Okay, um, but in that case, we have to kind of reassess what we got going on here. Um, because it would make sense to have this sort of even. Which it's not. <laughs> oh my goodness. I need to figure this out. I almost want to... Open this area. And have that there. Okay. Which would make more sense. Because then I can see that this needs to come out here. And this probably needs to come out here. Okay. This makes more sense to me. I know it's still a mess, however... What did I just do? Undo, undo. No, redo. This gives us something we can work with. And it's going to be easier to shape this around, I think. Thank you so much, Jazz. Thank you. Yeah, I can't believe it's been a year already. That's wild and crazy to me. It feels like it's been no time at all. But also it feels like it's been a long time. It's very difficult to explain. But I'm so happy with the way that the channel is going. Very, very happy with it and excited to see what the future holds. Okay, I need trees. Um, 
Or, you know what I should start with? I should start with bushes. I feel like that's gonna be a little bit better. Um, because we can use those to... sort of fix, fix the rough spots around the path. And then we can fill in with trees. You get so excited thinking about what Dreamlight Valley might be like a year from now. So much has happened in just one year since early access launch. I know. Yeah, I'm just like really in a in a point in time where I'm excited about the future of the game. So yeah, I'm very excited. And a lot has changed. Like I was watching a stream from way back in October of last year. And things are so different now, like quality of life things in the game are very different. Like obviously the amount of characters that we have is very different. And yeah, it's just really nice to see. Your Frosted Heights is pretty bare. Mine is putting yours to shame. Listen, I just, we just completely bulldozed my Frosted Heights. It used to be completely decorated. I just deleted everything from it and everything from my glade. And now we're starting our rework of the Frosted Heights. So, you know, it's a work in progress, but I think it'll end up being pretty nice. I'm excited to see what we end up doing with it. What? I feel like I used another color as well. I probably used these glade bushes last time I did the Frosted Heights as well. I usually try to mix up the colors. Um, because otherwise it can just look very... flat. I do like the Frosted Heights. I think it's a very pretty biome, so I'm happy to be decorating in it again. And it had been a while since I had finished my Frosted Heights, so... Feels nice and new to be back. I think that's sort of even, even enough. Did I buy the premium house? I did. Yeah, I can kind of show you. The one thing I will say about the premium house is it's really pretty. I think it's nice in the Frosted Heights because it like feels like it needs, like it belongs here, you know? But um, it really is a house that looks best from far away. Because once you get even like a little bit close, you can see, you can't see the entirety of the house. Um, and when you're really up against it, you just see rocks, which isn't the greatest vibe. So if you're planning on getting it, I feel like it's one of those buildings that you have to have the area in front of it really open so you can at least like see it and appreciate it sometimes. And that's how I feel about it. I'm going to move these up because this is too narrow of a walkway, I think. Not feeling it. Can you go up the stairs? Um, the stairs are where you enter, but there's no animation for going on the stairs. You just like teleport into your house. You lurk a lot, but wanted to pop in and say happy stream anniversary. Thank you so much. That's so sweet. And thanks for hanging out and lurking. I appreciate it. I 
I am really excited to decorate inside that house, though, because I feel like it's the perfect excuse to do a frozen, like, ice-themed room. So I'm excited about that. Okay, I have to remember I'm not really doing purple vibes in the Frosted Heights this time around, so... I can do... What do I want to do? Do I want more bushes as well, like in between here? Well, I mean, I guess do I want more manicured ones? Or do I want to go with more of a... Hmm... I don't think I want these. I think I do want the bushes with the flowers. I don't usually use these a lot. But I think I want to here. You saw a leaked mushroom house? Ooh, what if it comes next week? Exactly. It might. Because I think the leaked mushroom house is the only other thing that we've seen from the premium shop leaked that we don't have yet. So it could be next week. They could take like a week off of new things and then do the mushroom house. I don't know. I'm a little worried about the mushroom house, though, because it looks like we talked about this last stream a little bit, but it looks like the grass underneath is just like a big square of like plaza uh like plaza colored grass i'm a little worried that it's not gonna look good in any biome besides the plaza or um the meadow but it looks like a really cute house so i really want to like it in one ursula quest you go to the restaurant with a character but there's no cutscene. You really think they should make more cutscenes for stuff like that? Yeah, there are so many things that seem like they should be cutscenes, but they're not. And I don't know if they're planning on adding cutscenes before full release or if it's just going to be the like fade to black thing the entirety of the game. But yeah, there are a lot of opportunities for cutscenes that I wish we we actually got those scenes. How do I feel about this? I don't hate it. I don't hate it. I do feel like I need to widen this path though, in the back. The NBC hill changes color depending on what biome you put it in, so maybe it's like that. Yeah, I hope so. I really hope so. Because otherwise it feels really limiting. You love it? Wait, the bushes? I feel like it's okay. I don't mind it. I haven't gone with like a square look before. I usually try to do a circle, so it's different, but I think I like it. Hmm. The only thing now is that I won't be able to fit any trees back here, but that's okay. Well, I mean, I might be able to fit one there still. Last week you made a snowman family. They look so cute. Ooh, that's fun. I don't know if I'm going to put any snowmen in here. Haven't decided yet. They'll definitely add them before it's free to play, but you wonder when that'll be. Uh, oh, wait, the mushroom house? Or adding what? I completely forget. <laughs> yeah, I'm super interested to see when we do get free to play. Will this block the house too much? I feel like the answer is yes. That's the one thing about this premium shop house. I feel like I need to be so cognizant of where I'm placing things to not block the view like I don't think I can put it there because then when we get past the tree we already can't see the whole house oh the cutscenes I got you got you got you yeah hopefully they already added voiceover to um what was it 
that like introductory part of the game where Merlin's explaining to us what's going down uh, with the forgetting. When early access dropped and when I first started playing the game, there wasn't a voiceover there, but they added a voiceover for Merlin. You wish once we click a tree or a bush, it keeps giving us the same one until we cancel. That would be amazing. Yeah, I would love that. A lot, a lot. I think that's also too close. Listen, <laughs> I love trees. I just want more of them, but I just need to be a little bit more... A little bit more choosy about where I'm putting them in this version of my Frosted Heights, which is fine. Like, I don't think I could put it there either. It doesn't look right. It's still wild to you that Elsa's house is a cave. I, listen, I'm a cave of... <laughs> <laughs> I'm an Elsa cave apologist, okay? I support the cave, but I know most people are not a fan. I'm getting rid of this. I decided I don't like it. Um, but yeah, I, I don't know. I just, I understand the cave. I respect the cave. I appreciate the cave. You would have thought they would add cutscenes for quests. They would bring them in with that quest. Yeah, that would make sense, which is why I think there's a chance that we're just not going to get cutscenes for them. But it feels like, I don't know, like we should have them, you know, feels like we should have them. Can Dreamlight Valley send out the partner statues already? Listen. Someone told me the other day they think we might not be getting them. And... I almost threw a tantrum. <laughs> I was like, you don't understand. We earned that. Oh my goodness. I hope we get it. Are you kidding me? I've been looking forward to that for over a year. So I do sincerely hope we get, uh, get the partner statue. Thank you so much, Izzy. I appreciate it. Thank you. Yeah, I, the partner statue, it's just too good to not give us. That would be incredibly rude. If we don't get it, you're suing. <laughs> if we don't get it, I will personally start um, a change.org petition. <laughs> we'll start a change.org petition to get it. Because we need it. They haven't mentioned it at all. You hope they don't forget about it or didn't forget about it. Listen. I didn't forget about it. I... Literally the other day I was thinking, and I might still do this at some point, I was going to, to tweet at them with um, just like, or like retweet their really old tweet about it. And just be like, cough, cough. <laughs> cough, cough. Where is it? I feel like they can't have forgotten about it, though. It was from our first ever community challenge. That's a big deal. Like, it would be one thing if it was just, like, a random thing that they were like, oh, yeah, wouldn't it be fun if we had the partner statue? But it was literally from a community challenge where we did some really cool stuff as a community to make that statue a reality. So I do hope we get it. Ooh, this tree is a really giant tree. Look, you're not saying I shouldn't message them on Twitter. <laughs> oh my. We just really need that partner statue. All these trees aren't an exact line. Stop. I need to move them. <laughs> Just one, two, three. Oh my. You move like here or something. I don't know. And you move like here or something. There. Sure, why not? 
We have all the other stuff from that challenge, but not that. Um, Brain Seer, no, we do not. We most certainly do not have everything from that challenge except for that. We're missing two other things. Get a few Dreamlight Valley creators to do it. Honestly, yes. Dreamlight Valley Creator Coalition to ensure the delivery of the partner statue, amongst other things. Wasn't there a costume missing? Yep. Yeah. And what no one ever talks about, um, a community designed companion. They're supposed to, well, they said during early access, they were going to um, create a campaign for the community to come together and design a critter companion that everyone would get. Haven't heard anything about that since um, since they announced that. And that was like last August or October. You've had the spot saved for the statue for you don't know how long. Yeah, pretty much every time I decorate my plaza, I leave a space. Well, I don't leave a space open for it. Like right now, I can show what it is at the moment. Um, I usually put a statue or a fountain in the spot that I plan to have the partner statue. So um, for now, it's either, depending on the size, it's either going to go here or it's going to go probably um, over here where I have this giant Mickey fountain. In this space of honor. It would look so good there. The tulip light. Oh, wait. Yeah, the um, yeah, yeah, yeah. What is it? The pumpkin vine lamp. This one. It's so good. I love it. I used them all over my forest because I love them so much. I hope you get it soon. I hope you do. I think maybe I think maybe Mr. Star and Sky had been searching for it for a really long time and he finally got it recently. OK. Back to the decorating. Um, I'm pretty happy with the trees over here. I might want another one right on this side, but maybe one of the willows? I do love these willows. They're very pretty. They're just gorgeous. Oh my goodness. And they're coming to Disney Magic Kingdoms. I don't play Disney Magic Kingdoms, which I feel like is very weird considering how much I talk about it. But um, I'm just really, I don't know. I, at the end of the day, I'm a lore girl, right? Like, I don't know how to explain it, but like the in-game lore of Dreamlight Valley, but also like the out of game lore of like the game loft games and how they like interconnect. I love a multiverse. <laughs> I love a multiverse. So of course I'm going to look at like DMK news and info, even though I don't play it because I'm always looking for clues, always looking for clues. You're still doing the search for the painting table. Every time you don't see it, you get upsetty spaghetti. I'm so sorry. You don't have the painting table. That one's like one of the hardest items to get. It's something to do with, like, the amount of items that spawn on that front quad display and, like, the amount of tiles that it takes up or, like, the specific position that it's in that just makes it so rare. But it's definitely a pain. Real annoying. Hmm. Ah, yes, this is a very giant rock. I might put it over here, though. Or over here? If I move that tree? Do I like having this feel like it's nestled in by the rock? A little bit. I started early today. You're so late. That's okay. I started early because... Um, because, well, not today, technically. It's technically tomorrow, but since today's Sunday and Dreamlight Valley Day, it's our celebration of 
our one year anniversary of the channel. So that's why I started a little early so we could have a bit of a longer stream today. I am feeling a little bit sick. So I'm not sure entirely when I'm gonna end the stream, but for now we're good. For now we're vibing. I think I like that. I think I might wanna move this up a tiny bit though, and then move this up a tiny bit. Ooh, an in. Yes. Snug. Mm, actually, do I hate that a little bit? <laughs> do you, I don't know. If people decorate, you might understand this feeling where you really think that a tiny change you're going to make is going to slay. And then you make the change and you're like, actually, it does. It's not the it's not the serve I thought it was going to be. Mm, this looks very flat. I think that's why I wanted to move this, but... I don't know that it looks any better now. Or I don't know if it looked any better before. Hmm. This tree needs to leave for a second. Hi, Yana, how are you? The bordered path into not bordered is good. Thanks, I wanted to have like, the regular like jagged path here. I mean, I'm gonna like try to plop some things so that it's not quite so dramatic, but that felt like more of the vibe going to this like cliffside house. But I wanted this nice bordered path for the entry area and by the castle. No, I think I have to leave it like that. I think I have to leave it like that. Just got two orbs from two mining nodes and neither of them were your last memory. Wait, you're on your last mining memory? That is so exciting, but also so painful. Yeah, that grind to get your last memory just takes forever. Forever and ever. Okay, I think overall I'm liking this. You just looked at the community challenge and they haven't added multiplayer, but they've said what update it's coming out in. Multiplayer. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, I think the community challenge, though, was specifically multiplayer valley visits, and they haven't specified what multiplayer feature we're getting at the end of the year. Hopefully it's valley visits, but sometimes when they talk about multiplayer, they also, like, um, group dream snaps in with that. So it's possible that at the end of the year we're actually just getting another multiplayer feature that's not valley visits, but we can hope for the best. We can hope for the best. Um, what else do I want? You don't have any memories completed, but all of your memories need one or two. That's wild. The memories are such a pain. They're so fun when you finally complete them, though. I love the completed memories. Um, I want to use a lot of these around the well and by a lot I mean probably like two or three <laughs> but I want it to be like lots of willowness you're good you went to see the Eras tour movie on Friday that's awesome I also went to see the Eras tour movie on Friday I had a great time you're so pumped to see the live show in May oh my goodness I saw the live show I actually don't remember when it was it was a long time ago. <laughs> it was a while ago, but it was so good. And it was really nice to like relive, relive that experience through the movie. I told the story at the beginning of stream, but I actually ended up seeing the movie one and a half times because my sister had bought us tickets and she told me they were for 7 p.m. So we got to the theater like right before 7 p.m. And it turned out the show that we saw started at um, 6 p.m. So then she just ended up buying tickets for the next show time. So we saw it twice. Well, one and a half times. But it was fun. 
Mm, not sure about the second tree. Is that facing the same way? I don't want these trees to be facing the same way. I think that's different. You want the ability to share a touch of magic designs? That would be amazing. I would love that. Not to share my designs, but to take other people. <laughs> Not to share my designs, don't get it twisted. But to take other people's designs. <laughs> oh my goodness. Even though I have been using Touch of Magic more recently, I still would not say that I'm, I'm at that point in my relationship with Touch of Magic to be sharing things. How annoying is this going to be to run through? That's the question. If it is Valley Visits, you're just imagining the potential collabs that could possibly happen. Ooh, yeah. I really just want to, like, be able to do, like, Valley Tours of community members. That would be a lot of fun. It would be neat if we could arrange it for stream time also, but we could also do, like, videos. Because that would be so fun. Like, it's fun looking at everybody's Valley designs that they share on Discord and stuff, but it's totally different. I always say this, like... You can watch somebody else's stream or like I can watch somebody else's stream or I can look at pictures of something. But once I'm actually running around or like seeing the item in my own valley, it's so different. So it would be really nice to be able to pop by other people's valleys and see what they've done. Yana, thank you so, so much for the super chat. That is so kind of you. And thank you for the one year love. I appreciate it. You would love to visit the valley? I would love to have people be able to come and visit the valley. And to see the way, or like see it the way that I see it. Um, I need blue lampposts. The valley looks so cute, thank you. The way that I probably never would have actually designed my valley um, if I hadn't started streaming, because I was just super overwhelmed by the prospect of changing things because here's the thing my perspective at the time actually i think i want to use these does it matter uh i don't know if it matters do they cast different types of light sorry <laughs> i'm distracted um i hadn't really decorated in this type of a game where you have so much freedom over the entire area um, before I played this game. And the thing with Dreamlight Valley is the decorating when you first start the game, it's kind of sparse, right? But it's still cute. And I was very much of the mindset that I was going to ruin it. I was like, I'm going to end up decorating and it's going to look so much worse than it does already. And I'm going to regret it. So I only really started decorating because of stream. I was like, I need, I need content. <laughs> I need to do something. Also, my valley looks a mess. So I started decorating and I'm really, really glad that I did. There's no difference. Need to start a Tink Valley Tour bus. That would be cool. I wonder how many people you're going to be able to have in your valley at once. There are so many questions I have about multiplayer. Hi, Moth. Hello. How are you? You're really harsh when people decorate, but you can't say anything bad about mine. Oh, well, thank you. I mean, I'm definitely a bit critical of my own valley, so I, I have some things that I definitely could, would, should do differently, but yeah, we'll get there. We will get there. Okay, let me take this away. I'm going to use the other ones just because even though I'm kind of trying to hide these a little bit, I want to have the nice fancy ones when you do catch a glimpse of it. You hope they can make it like Animal Crossing so you don't have to be online for people to visit. I've never actually visited anyone in Animal Crossing. Oh, wait a second. You know what might be different? Yeah, the footprint of these lights. Hmm, noted, noted. Um, yeah, I've never visited anybody on Animal Crossing, so I'm not sure how that worked, but that would be nice, yeah. If there was just, like, a standard, mm, I don't know. Just, like, people could pop into your valley and see it. But also, I know people who played Animal Crossing had a lot of concerns about, I guess, people coming and taking their stuff or, like, messing up their stuff. So 
I hope they find a way in Dreamlight Valley to prevent that from happening, because that would be sad. People put a lot of time and effort into their valleys, so it would be pretty disappointing if, yeah, somehow people came by and messed up their stuff. Do I want to put this a little bit further outside? Maybe? Four mining rounds and no tourmaline. I feel like the game knows what you need, right? And then it just has a way of not giving you what you need, even if it's not generally uncommon. It just knows you want it and it's like, mm, nah. It's not quite as lit up as I want. I might have to add a couple more lights. I mean, I also don't have lights anywhere else right now, so that's part of why it feels very dark, but... You know what? Let me just leave it dark for now while I place these lights around. So I can see what we're actually working with. In Animal Crossing, you can, like, hang out and steal stuff, but also visit in a dream, which you can't interact with. Oh, gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, that would be good then. Hmm, I have to make sure I'm still able to get around the well. Maybe I'll put that there. Mm, no, that doesn't really make as much of a difference as I thought it would. Maybe I'll put it here. That's a little bit better. And then maybe I can put one of these, like, here and here. Not there. Here. Yeah. <laughs> can you tell that I'm uncertain? I think that's fine for now. I think once I actually start doing more stuff... It's going to be better because it's not just going to be complete darkness all around it. I think that's going to be fine. It would be nice in multiplayer if you can do valley stuff and each player gets twice as many resources. Like kind of how it is in Paleo, where if you co-op a task, you each get the resources. That would be nice. That would be nice. Okay. Ooh, I need to take a drink of my coffee. Give me one second. You bought Animal Crossing and didn't care for it much. It was your first eShop purchase, and you regret it to this day. Oh, no. Yeah, it can sometimes be really hard to know whether you're going to enjoy a game or not. I didn't buy Animal Crossing, but I got it as a gift one Christmas. And I really enjoyed it for a while. Like, I played it constantly for like a small period of time a couple weeks or so but then I just stopped having fun with it so I haven't played it since well it's not that I haven't played it since I have played it a little bit since then I played it a bit last Thanksgiving ish Christmas time and I had an okay time but it just it doesn't hold my attention like Dreamlight Valley does A very good decorating tip. See what your valley looks like at night. Oh, yeah. I'm not the best at doing that, but usually I will after I decorate. I'll go to nighttime and then see how it looks and then add lights if I want to. Like, I want to add some more to my forest. Usually I also pick, like, a color scheme. So right now we're going with blue lights for, um, for the frosted heights. In the forest, I have, like, green and yellow lights. I had pink lights all through the glade. And I have purple lights and some green lights in the uh, Forgotten Lands. But yeah, I like especially trying to, like, hide lights between trees if I have a forest. Because I want it to just have a colorful glow. 
but it was a little harder in this like actual forest because I have the trees a little bit sparser than I typically do, but we still have some green lights around, which I like. The Forgotten Lands looks pretty nice though. You tried to get a refund and Nintendo was like, nope. Oh no, yeah, N Nintendo is kind of stingy with refunds. I think I was able to one time um, for like an issue that I had with a game, but they were like, we're not gonna do this again. And I was like, I understand. <laughs> I was like, I'm not trying to get a refund from every game, but uh, you know, sometimes like a game just doesn't perform like you thought it would. Or I don't know, whatever the case may be, it's nice to every now and then be able to if you haven't like played the entire game or something I don't know let me go back to daytime hmm okay do I like this tree this just feels so I can't dis explain it really just feels so empty. I mean, I am going to put more stuff, but I'm used to decorating my biomes with like lots and lots of trees and that kind of thing. And that's just not going to be this biome this time, I don't think. So I have to find ways to make it interesting, I think. Okay. I think I want some rocks leading to the castle as well, maybe. It's not the fanciest, but I know I don't want a full pathway, but I think I do want some sort of entrance area moment. She makes it so easy. Really, I don't think I've ever had to or like wanted to return a game on Steam. But that's good to know in the future if I need to, that they make it easy. They did it for Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. Yeah, well, Pokemon Scarlet and Violet was a little bit messy. <laughs> it was a little... Uh, what's the word I want to use? It ran interestingly. I mean, I still had a fabulous time with it, honestly. I played it for a while on the channel and a while, like, just personally, and I really liked it. But I know a lot of people had issues with the way that it ran, for sure. Hmm... Trying to decide if I want this here since it's not going to be able to go on both sides. I think I still do though. Yes, I think I do. You get why though? Because you could easily play a game fully and then get bored of it and decide to get a refund. Yeah, I understand why as well. But it's just sad if people are like actually having an issue with something or if their kid accidentally purchases something and then you're like stuck with stuck with a game you're not going to play maybe these lining here maybe maybe Another design tip I have actually, which I've only recently started doing more, is um, kind of frequently going between the furniture placement mode and the regular like play mode, because I feel like a lot of times I'll do things in the furniture mode here and I'll be like, oh yeah, this looks so good. <laughs> and then I'll exit out and I'm like, what is this? <laughs> Why does it look like a mess? Because things look really different when you're like, I don't know, even if you get down at like close to ground level, it looks so different when you're actually running through it in game. So it can be nice to get both perspectives. 
instead of just like believing that something looks nice. You still have the undoing glitch. Oh, where, yeah, sometimes when you exit out of furniture mode, it'll just, like, undo some of the items, which is so weird. I don't know why it does that. Mmm, frozen. Do I want one of these ice couches? Back here? I don't know, actually. Maybe not. But maybe... I'm undecided. Maybe this one here. That might be cute. It makes you so paranoid with decorating. You exit constantly. Yeah. I definitely had more issues with that on the Switch, but I also do have issues with it sometimes on PC. Hmm. Actually, let me look at something quickly. Okay. When we're coming through this way, we're mostly gonna probably be entering from here. Yeah, that's fine. Or... Okay. I think... I might want to... Listen, <laughs> I'm trying to use fewer trees, but also they're just so pretty. And there's too much just open space. I think I might want to have another one of these here. Is that the same way? I think that's a different way. Shout out to whichever Xbox user suggested that you use the Pro Controller. Laying down paths is not the greatest, but much better than Switch Joy-Cons. Oh, nice. I don't have an Xbox Pro Controller. I feel like a, <laughs> a bad gamer, because I feel like, I don't know, that's like the controller, right? Um, you know what might be kind of nice back here? Actually, do we have fencing that goes well with this? Not really. No. I wish we had a sort of, like, ice fence moment. I might be able to get away with this picket fence, but I also don't know. Maybe not. Oh, well, not there, for sure. Um, imagine. There. Things are going to spawn behind this fence. That's going to be really annoying. Mm, no, it doesn't look nice enough to go back here. I need some color up there. I don't know. I kind of want to keep it like more icy. I had a lot of color in my last version of the Frosted Heights and I liked that, but I kind of want to go for a slightly different vibe this time. Um, hi, Nana. How are you? It's so nice. Your boyfriend has one, but you don't want to pay for your own. Understandable. How do I feel about this fence? I prefer it a little bit more. But I don't know if I'm going to leave it up or not. It's not bad. Ooh, I might actually keep the flowers back in this corner. That might be nice. If I just like spread them out a little bit. One thing about me, I do love like a little wildflower moment. 
You love the layout? Thank you. I'm liking it so far. Definitely still need a lot of, like, work just finessing it and making it look actually, like, I don't know, decorated. Just feels very, uh, a bit sparse at the moment, but I think it's gonna end up being pretty cute. I think it will. Okay, I feel like I could put like a little rock or something in here. Let me see, let me see. And maybe a bush or something? Perhaps? We need more fence options. You have so many demands. Honestly, yes. But also, in the grand scheme of the game, I feel like it's still pretty new. Like, I think there are a lot of plans to do a lot of things with this game. So I feel like we're going to see the things that we want eventually. It might just take a while. But yes, more paths, more fences. I feel like those are all things that would be really nice to have. I think I'm gonna actually switch these around though. Cause back here, this kind of just blends in. Whereas up here, we're gonna be able to like see it more, I think. Okay. These flowers also would have potentially looked nice over by the candy houses, but I think I'm gonna leave them here. I think I might also do a little bit of a repeat of what I had here last time. I had just like a um, a little seating area looking out of this little drop off. <laughs> Would you call it a drop off? I don't know. I do not know. More fence options or at least a possibility to customize the existing ones. That would be nice. That would be really nice. Especially as we get like more biomes potentially, right? I feel like we need more options for paths and fences and also as we get new types of houses. Uh, let me just pop this here for now because I think I want to actually, well... See, I wanted to put this tree here. But it doesn't make sense if this is right here. I could put it there. You're not going to be able to really get to it, though. I could put this on the opposite side of it. But that doesn't feel the same. Mm, I don't know what I want. You checked your shop and you got the tree golem you've been wanting forever. That's awesome. Is that the one from the Lion King collection? That's a pretty cool item. I like it a lot. Uh, I don't mind this tree here. I might just leave it. Any house skins that I would want in the future? Ooh, oh, you know what I really want? And this is so random because it's like not the kind of thing that I have a spot in the valley that I think it would actually look good. But I want it just because when I decorate the interiors of the premium houses, that's when I really go with like more stylized designs. I really want like a rocket ship or like a space station house. And listen, I would complain about it. <laughs> I would complain about it so much because I would be like, where am I supposed to put this where is this supposed to look good but best believe I would have the time of my life decorating the inside of it with all of the cool wally -E stuff that we have I want one I do oh no worries new name thank you so much for coming by I appreciate it Your quest page on Dreamlight has been empty for the first time ever. It feels very satisfying. That's a great feeling. It's like equal parts exciting and also sad because you're like, well, what do I do now? But also, 
everything's completed, which feels amazing. Pizza Planet Rocket? I would be okay with that. Hmm. It's kind of blocking part of this entrance, but also not that much. Do I hate it? Do I want to move this forward a tiny bit? I might move it forward a tiny bit so the bushes are a little bit more off of the path. That's a lot. I think that's more than one space. Can I actually move this back here? I can. Mm, do I hate that? I don't think so. I think I like it. Empty for now. You just realized you haven't gotten Ursula's dream bundle. Ooh, more quests. I think I like that. I might end up putting something here to kind of just like help ease this area over, but I don't know yet. Actually, let me move that like that. At least to start. Um, I might actually also bring this here. I want this to be a nice open pathway where I don't feel like I'm crammed in. Um, I think I also want to take some bushes here. I don't think I'm going to outline the entire area in bushes because I do want to be able to get through. And I also just don't know that that's the look that I want, but I do want to use some. Like maybe three. What is it that I want? I know how I want these to look. And I think I want it to look more like rounded. I don't know how to explain that. Something like this. And then I could push this out. Mm. I'm so deep in thought right now. Oh my goodness, it's not that serious. Hopefully you get more moonstones with the coming weeks. Ideally 4,000, but you'd be happy with 2,500. Oh my goodness, the game volume is so low. I don't even have my headphones on right now. Well, there's not really a lot of music playing, but... Um, yeah, hopefully you get lots of moonstones. I feel like we're going to be moving into the phase of the premium shop where we start getting or stop getting new items um definitely as much but maybe at all until the next update i mean we do still have that mushroom house we are anticipating but i think other than that it doesn't really seem like there's anything new that's going to be coming to the premium shop unless there are surprises that have been kept from the people who find like leaks and things like that uh, but that's a good thing in my opinion, because it means that people can start just like saving up moonstones for the next update. Very excited for my valley tour. Thank you. I'm excited. It'll be up tomorrow. Um, I think I currently have it set to go up around 10 o'clock my time, but I might change it. I'll have to check. Is it weird to have that glade fern? A little bit. I don't think I want that. Mickey, thank you so much and happy birthday. That's so exciting. Happy birthday. I hope you're having a great day. Are you doing anything exciting?
Okay, let's see, let's see. Hi, Christina. How's it going? It's been a great day. That's awesome. I'm glad. If I use I'm trying to figure out like some creative ways to fill the space if that makes sense or like make things feel less empty because the thing is I like just having the blues for the most part, and then the very like faded muted greens of the frosted heights and glade bushes, but it makes things feel kind of emptier, I think, than they otherwise would feel because the colors aren't like bright and popping, but I'm just trying to find creative ways to still mainly have that vibe but also have things feel a little bit more occupied something playful like the snow people igloo or mini ice castle maybe i could put the little snow hut here actually hmm but i also just I could try it, but I'm also trying to avoid things with like too much height because I don't want it to block this area too much, but maybe. Where is that snow hut? It's a crafted item. Oh, I forgot I was going to use this up here. <gasps> should I replace this with this or should I put this somewhere else? I almost feel like I should replace this with this. Let me see. Hi, kitty. How are you? No worries. I'm glad you got a nap in. I'm doing okay. I'm feeling very excited about the one year of the channel. I'm feeling excited about what we're doing with the Frosted Heights. I am definitely feeling a bit, a bit under the weather, though. So I might have to log out soon, which makes me sad because I wanted to stream longer, but... But we shall see. Hmm. Or I could put the fire fountain over here, maybe. Drop some snowballs. I definitely could. So many possibilities. You should do something like this for your frosted heights. There are so many directions that you could go with any of the biomes for the most part, which I think is so exciting. And part of why I try not to get, like, overly attached to my biomes, because, like, I don't know. I feel like, to a certain extent, you're a little bit doing yourself a disservice if you don't, like, explore all of the options. So I try to redo mine every now and then when I can. Same, you think that's why you had to nap? Yeah. It's that time of year. It's that time of year. I could also potentially put this back here instead of this. Do I want to do that? What? Oh, I forgot things go inside of this. I was like, why is Anna in the fountain? But it's just because that's how it works. Mm. I think I prefer this. I don't know what to do with this now. Somewhere over here, it doesn't fit in as well. Somewhere by the market, maybe? 
Maybe. I don't know. You love how the look is giving Star Trek? Wait, what's that? Still snoozy, but you woke up hungry and then realized the time. <laughs> nice. Every time we get a new character or house skin, you revisit your valley design. Yeah, usually I have enough room, but this um, house skin, this was the first time that I actually had absolutely no space for it. So that's what pretty much prompted our redesign of the Frosted Heights. Hmm. I might, this is very close to these trees. Granted, they're magical trees in my headcanon, but I still don't know that it's the best idea to put. A fire fountain next to it. Um. Let me pop down and look. Fountain of Anna. Oh my goodness. At first you thought I was talking about Anna as the actual character. Oh no. <laughs> no. Just the ice statue of Anna. Ooh. Thanks for being a member for five months, kitty. Ooh, and Tinker Anniversary. So glad you can support my bestie. Well, thank you so much. I appreciate your support. It means a lot to me. I've just realized that these lights are in the way. Okay, let me move this here. I'm going to have to actually just go with the other lights because these ones have too big of a footprint. Okay, um, blue lights. And we'll just put them close here. Uh, yeah, I think that's what I'm going to do. A great sci-fi movie. Wait, is it Star Trek or is it Star... Is there also a Star Trek? I'm familiar with Star Trek. I actually... I feel like I've probably talked about this on the channel before. Um, but I'm a big fan of buying box sets for things. Um that I have no actual, like, uh, familiarity with. And then, well, that's pretty much it. <laughs> that's pretty much it. Um, so I, at one point in my life, did buy the box set of all of the original Star Trek series. And to this day, I still haven't watched them. I think I watched, like, three episodes. And that was it. Um... And that's just where we are right now in life. Oh, Star Trek, like the outfit. Oh, it is, isn't it? It is also giving Star Trek. I see it. Next gen is where it's at. Uh, I hear that a lot. I don't know which series it was, but one of them had um, Anthony Rapp, who I adore in it. So that really made me almost watch it again, and then I just didn't also. About one day, one day I will. My dad was a big Star Trek fan in, like, the 90s. Okay, so let's take that, and also it confuses me that these, like, spindly bushes are under uh, trees. Confuses me all the time. Okay. Yes, beautiful. Okay, what else can we do? I almost want to make this a little wider. 
I think that's actually going to be a good thing. Yes. Beautiful. Mm. I want one of the little snow plushies. Hmm. Oh, why aren't you under white? That's strange. There, there. Hmm, what looks the cutest? I think maybe there. I do need something on the other side of the castle, but I'm not sure what. Not sure what yet. Can I put a snow hut back here? Is that a big enough space? Remember that time I was looking for a snow hut like 15 minutes ago? <laughs> Oh my goodness, and then I forgot what I was doing, got distracted. Oh my. Where does it live? It shouldn't be this far down. Let me consult the wiki. That usually answers all of our questions for us. Snow Hut. Uh, miscellaneous, traditional, bold. Okay, let's go all, wait, no, let's go, wait, what? <laughs> miscellaneous, uh, traditional and bold. And simple, calm, strong, and wondrous. Simple, strong, calm, and wondrous. That's quite the selection of tags there. There we go. Oh no, it's too large. Okay, um, sit there for a second. Your Dazzle Beach has been contaminated. What do you mean? Okay, let me move all of this stuff. So it's, oh, no, 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 not you. So it's out of the way. I might even move these trees, actually, for a second. Um, yes. They should make looking furniture or looking for furniture easier than just the tags. Yeah, I would love a search bar for furniture. I think that would be amazing and I would get an immense amount of use out of it. Do I think we're going to get one? Not necessarily. Not necessarily. Mm, is that too close to that house? I don't know. Maui lives there, so you have a border around it, and nobody lives there now. Oh, my. No, I think that's fine, actually. I think it's fine. That would be a great quality of life update, right? I feel like... We've been talking about this for months and months, though. Hopefully they'll do it. I don't know. It seems like one of those things that's like a bit of a long shot, but I think it's something the community would really appreciate. But I also don't know how difficult that would be to implement. I imagine it would be a lot of work. Let me put this there. And then we'll get a little bush or something. People really don't like Maui. Yeah, I, Kitty, I was about to say that. I do also forget Maui for the most part. He's not really around in my valley that much. I think he mostly hangs out at home. Um, he used to hang out on the steps, like the main stairways all the time, like here or here. Um, and that was back when we had the immovable glitch all the time, so you could never get around him. He doesn't do that quite so much anymore, so I don't really mind him. But, uh, yeah. 
the only other time he really shows up is right before stream he'll always like be standing right next to me and i'll think he'll still be there at the start of stream but he always leaves by then okay what are the snow people called snow family no snow kid a snow lady is it really called a snow lady it is wait oh my goodness that's so funny lavish playful strong familiar i wonder if that's what all of them are under snow kid lavish playful strong familiar yeah okay so we should be able to find all of them that way lavish strong familiar playful okay yes hottie snow hottie snowman classic snowman snow kid snow lady okay let's probably use these he's wishing me well on my stream maybe i guess so i guess so do i want to put one over here like the little snow kid just pop him right outside his little home Maybe. I wish I could put it just like right here, but that rock footprint is in the way. Maybe I'll put him there. Or maybe I'll put this one there. Yeah, probably that one. Um, you rarely hang out with him. You finished all of the quests a while back. Oh, yeah. I finished his quests. Like, he must have been one of the first people I finished quests for. I really don't have too, too many issues with Maui. I do think it's funny, though, that the community as a whole is just, like, very anti-Maui. And I also wonder if that's, like, mostly, I don't know, just the way he is in the valley, or if people just don't like him as a character. I didn't want this. I wanted trees. Um, actually, this might... How tall is this? It's pretty tall, actually. Maybe I can put this behind them a little bit and get some of these bushes. And maybe like another rock. I don't know what I want over in this area. I want it to be mostly like... I can't even say mostly open because I want things here. <laughs> I do want things here. But I don't want it to be, like, full of things, if that makes sense. You're putting more lights in the Frosted Heights. I love lights, which is wild because I usually forget they exist until all the way when I'm finished decorating. And then I'm like, oh, yeah, wait, I probably should use some, some of the lights. But they look so good. The Snow People layout just gave you flashbacks to... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't actually know how to pronounce that. Um, but I know what you're talking about. I had a bunch of those, like the nesting dolls when I was growing up. I loved them. Not too bad. This is kind of cute. We're just in our, um, we're just in our, we'll call it our minimalistic era. Is this actually minimalistic probably not but for me the decorating is giving bare bones <laughs> you've heard people say he's too big you get that he flexes all the time but he's not that bad mother gothel is worse mother gothel is absolutely worse but mother gothel at least like i don't know how to explain it how do i explain it Mother Gothel is insufferable, but she's also a little bit of vibe, right? <laughs> and I feel like that's just undeniable. Whereas Maui is insufferable sometimes, but also not really a vibe at all. It looks nice. Thank you. I don't think it looks bad by any means. I kind of like it. 
it's just very different than how we previously had it and from the way that I tend to decorate. But you know what? It's nice to try something new every now and then. It is. You decorate this way, so it's interesting to see my version of it. Yeah, I feel like this is maybe more along the lines of how people tend to decorate in general. I just have a very cluttered way of decorating usually, so it just feels very, like, empty to me. Whenever you're having an off day, you avoid her or just turn down the volume. Yeah, probably for the best. She can be a little... Uh, I, I could imagine that some people could get, like, legitimately triggered by her sometimes. Rocks. Oh, I was about to say, are there other, like, items, like, snowy items that are kind of just, like, random that might be nice in the Frosted Heights? But I know we have, um... Someone mentioned it before. That little miniature snow castle. What is that called? Snow castle. Oh, it's called Miniature Snow Castle. <laughs> Stop. It's called Miniature Snow Castle. Elegant Quirky. Okay, let me find this. Uh, simple, playful, delicate, wondrous, and elegant and quirky. I like to use all the things I do. You feel like the only time you dislike characters is when they get in the way of your dream snap. Oh, very fair. Very fair, that. Maybe I'll use this, like, here or something. I don't know. You can respect the vibe, but... The constant insults, you're like, okay, I know you hate my gift. Wait, what is this for? Oh, Mother Gothel. Yes, yes, yes. I was like, that's giving me flashbacks to Palea and um, Coral Island. <laughs> when all of the NPCs are like, why did you think I would like this? And I'm like, my bad. <laughs> I'm just trying to be nice. Especially if we're on Switch. That's how you have to decorate or you run out of items. Very fair. I mean, there's nothing wrong with it. I'm not in any way trying to, like, rag on this style of decorating. I think it looks great, like, but it's just very different than my my instinct to fill, like, every, every empty inch of space. In Spirit Fair, you can give someone a meal that hurts their stomach. Oh, no. At times you wish you could do that for Gothel. That would be wild. Um, I just kicked my router, so... <laughs> the stream goes out that's why I think we're fine the light doesn't look to be blinking at all oopsie though I guess oopsie it's blue pearly wait blue pearly what and the snow clouds I do need to add the snow clouds um, I keep forgetting about those I just am not 100% sure where I want them yet and they have weird, a weird footprint as well that sometimes makes them a little bit difficult to fit in places. Wait, if I filter by white, will those be here? Yeah, okay. You don't know why you like the negative spaces in a design. Yeah, I feel like it looks good. I feel like I just... I don't know if I've just not decorated in that style enough, so... I don't really feel like I'm able to do it that well. I'm not sure.
Like, I don't know if I want this here. Here? No, I don't want it, like, in the tree. That's weird. Well, that's also in the tree. <laughs> Let me calm down. Uh... I don't know. Out of all the villains in the game, Mother Gothel's your least favorite. Understandable. The tall lights? Wait, which tall lights? Oh, you mean, um... Oh, these ones! I didn't know which lights you meant. Gotcha, gotcha. Hmm. Okay, 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 okay. What do we think? I don't mind these little snow clouds where they are. I don't mind them. Do I want to put one over this little snow family? Maybe. Maybe. White frozen items. Did I finish the star path? I did. I finished. That's just mean. <laughs> I was about to be very dramatic. Let me stop. There's no need for it. Um, I did finish the star path. Um, yeah, I enjoyed it. I kind of took my time with it. I felt like I really took my time with it, but it still was quick. I feel like the star paths are very reasonable, which is nice, because I know not everybody is able to play every day or play for a long time every day. So I do like that... Um, you can get through it pretty quickly. Okay, I think this looks fine. This looks pretty good. Lots of uh, twigs around and stuff, though. You used the fairy godmother lights in Frosted. You like them with the willows. Wait, which for Oh, wait, the blue ones? Like the arches? Or which ones? Actually, do I think I would want that here? I'm trying to think. Not all. Oh, I'm also in wardrobe. <laughs> oh my goodness, that's not helpful. Um, Cinderella. These are pretty. I use these a lot in the forest, so I don't know if I want to use these up here. Okay, okay. How are we feeling? Pretty good overall. Are there any other items that I really should put in the Frosted Heights? I'm trying to think. If there's anything I can think of off the top of my head. Uh, do I like this bush? I do like this bush, kind of, actually. What about another rock? This one. This bush has kind of a weird footprint. Mm. <laughs> that looks weird. Cloud. Oh, wait, what? Oh, I have placed some of the clouds, yes. I might use some more in other places. I'm not 100% sure yet. And we still have this entire half that we'll probably get to on another stream. Oops. But there, I'm still trying to figure out. Let's pop down and take a look around. I definitely need some lights, but those I usually just go through and place last. Uh, 
Um, okay. This is fine. I feel like this area back here is just missing something, and part of me feels like it's putting pavement under this, but part of me really doesn't want to do that. So I'm trying to think... Hmm. Unless I also just put a couple bushes right here, or one. I don't know. I just need to do something with the edges of this path here, I think. And other than that, I think it's fine. It's cute. I just need to get used to it, I think. It's just giving me the sort of um, feeling that I get sometimes when I decorate interiors, where it just takes me a little bit to, like, fully get used to it or come around to the way that it looks. Why do Frosted Heights trees have the snow, but the bushes don't? Right? I don't know. I, magic. <laughs> I guess magic. That's usually just what I tell myself when I'm feeling like, what is this? I'm like, you know what? We live in a magical valley where a beach and snowy mountains are mere feet from each other. It's fine. <laughs> it's okay. Things don't have to make as much sense as I wish they would. Ooh, the hot cocoa stall. Yeah, I think I'm going to put that over here. I might actually grab one out just so I don't forget. Um, but I think I'm going to make this little area like a little market area. And I'll probably have some like the hot cocoa stall over here as well. Hmm. Maybe. Maybe. It's very limiting not being able to use ferns. I feel like I use ferns so often when I'm trying to cover like corners of paths and things like that. So we're just going to have to get a little bit creative and probably just a little bit comfy with the path being kind of jagged and stuff like that, but that's all right. You want to be able to turn off the frozen fountain and use it like a statue? Yeah, it used to not have water, and it's pretty with the water, but it's also pretty without it. Ooh! Ooh, this is giant! I forgot we had this one. Hmm... Wait, this is different than the one I used here. Yeah. Mm. I don't know why I want to use this, but I do. Maybe I can make it work over here, like as a natural separation between the little shop area and the rest of the biome. Sad no Frosted Heights ferns. I mean, it makes sense, but it is sad. I, I'm not a big fan of it. Oh, I came here for a purpose. I came here for these. Yes, beautiful. I mean, beautiful is a little bit dramatic, but it'll work. It will indeed work. Frozen crystal ferns, ooh, yes. But like dreamlight magic, I mean, you're not wrong. Dreamlight magic does make all things a little bit more um, possible. A little bit more excusable, maybe. But also, I do like a bit of consistency between biomes, you know? I just have mostly just accepted that that's not going to be the case in the Frosted Heights.
Hmm. What could I... I could put one there and, like, one there. That's a little weird, though. Maybe. I don't know. We'll have to look and see. This area just needs something. I also think I maybe hate this fence. <laughs> Wait, let me see. <laughs> Do I hate this fence? Can I push this bush in a little bit more? Yes. Okay. That's a little bit better, I think. I don't mind it. Don't mind it. What's my furniture count at right now? It's been so long since I was this low. I can't remember the last time that happened. Okay, I just need another little bit of greenery, I think. What about... That and maybe that. Or even if I moved it up here. I think this edge feels weird but I'm just gonna let it happen for now okay I think I'm pretty pleased with this half of the frosted heights for now I still have like a couple things like this area feels a little lackluster to me but for the most part I actually kind of like it. And I know it's still a tiny bit early, but I think we are going to end stream here. I do think I need a little, uh, a little sick nap or something. <laughs> Oh, that sounds pretty good right about now, but I appreciate you all so much. Thank you so much for coming to the stream and hanging out with me. Thank you so much for supporting the channel and being part of the community for a year now. I can't believe it's been a year. I'm so excited to see what, you know, the next year brings. It's going to be good times, I think. Um, let me see who's doing what at the moment. Maybe we can go raid somebody lurk for a little bit i will be back tomorrow playing paleo we're going to be checking out the new obstacle course um so that'll be a lot of fun um let's go see uh mr star and sky i think it's been a little while so if you have some time, please stop by, give his stream a like, um, hang out for a little bit. I hope you all have a wonderful, wonderful rest of your day. Oh, yeah. And the Valley Tour goes up tomorrow, too. That'll be uploaded around, um, I don't know, probably around 10 o'clock Eastern time, I think. But um, yeah, Valley Tour, it's going to be long. So make sure you have a snack and some tea or coffee or something. <laughs> <laughs> while you sit down to watch it fold some laundry or something i don't know but uh that's gonna be pretty exciting uh thank you again for coming by i appreciate you all and i will see you really soon goodbye